the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are still going to pray one prayer point. Matthew chapter 13. Ooh. The presence of God is mighty in this place. Matthew chapter 13. We we'll read from verse 14. Matthew chapter 13. <sighs> mighty God. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. Next verse. For this people's heart is wax gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed. Lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. Next verse. But blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. Just keep that verse there. Say blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. Turn this into a prayer and command your eyes to see and for your ears to hear lift your voice and pray blessed are your eyes for this shalabatakata shabradiga devos lebadash kabando brahaska devalakos Shila barakato sabrande gedi balas, skade brande gade balahas sabras. Shala brande gedi balada bakuli. Are you praying, everyone? Open my eyes, oh God. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things from out of your word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please be seated and be very sensitive while that happens to you. Be sensitive the power of God is mighty in this place and what the Lord is about to show us will truly be a key that will lift us in the name of Jesus this entire seven days will be a feast of keys in the name of Jesus Christ that God will grant us grace spiritual illumination Hallelujah. Tonight, very briefly, we'll start off. There is, there is so much to share. I just pray that these seven days will really allow us to do justice to these truths. Praise the Lord. But God by his word is appearing unto us and he will bless and lift us 
in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is coming on someone in overflow one there is a lady in overflow one please carry the person and bring the person I want to speak to the person before we get to the word I'm seeing the hand of God rest on a lady in overflow one please bring the lady and let's trust God for grace can we still pray for that and say Lord do something in my life give me results give me real results take me past the realm of guessing to the realm of mastery in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is saying he is bringing the captivity of your family to an end you see it will sound like a joke until you hear the testimony when Ejimi was sharing here this is the word of God come straight and it's over except the word does not come when it comes to you that is the end of it this is what we came for that we will encounter his word listen listen let me tell you something challenges are relative they are relative to the grace that confronts them challenges are not general it depends on the grace that confronts them that's why god is granting us access he's granting us illumination praise the lord illumination illumination even by his spirit this row just right here this row down i'm seeing two people who are receiving the spirit of revelation just this last row down like this this is what i'm seeing in the spirit the spirit of revelation and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me two of them and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet and the spirit entered me and the spirit entered me if someone praying let your spirit be alive you are not only watching you are receiving like kenny shared there is a grace to receive a grace to receive a grace to receive be sensitive gentlemen be sensitive grace to receive grace to receive overflow two overflow two the lord is bringing speed i'm seeing like an arrow but this is not evil this is a grace a grace please bring them overflow too someone's hunger is touching the heavens we'll get to the word shortly let's just do justice to what god is doing god is bringing speed overflow too particularly overflow too speed no more delay by the spirit of god Holy, 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 the Lord my life is full of your glory my heart is full of your glory hey and the people say holy holy And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. And the people say, Holy, Holy, Holy. 
And the people say, Holy, 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 No more delay. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. God is taking away limitations. He's doing it by His Spirit. He's taking away limitations. He's taking away limitations. He's taking away limitations. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, bless our hearts in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. One of the ushers, the Spirit of the Lord is saying, I should tell you, the set time has come. This is one of the ushers, just the ushers. The set time has come. The set time has come. This is a prophetic word for one of the ushers. The set time has come. That's what the Lord is saying. And when God speaks like this, there is a grace that brings and makes for performance. One of our ushers, the Lord is prophesying that your set time has come. Jeremiah chapter 9. Let's get to the word, the glory that excels. Jeremiah chapter 9, we'll start from verse 23. 23. Thus saith the Lord, please pay attention. Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches next verse but let him that glorieth glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me that he understandeth and knoweth me the Bible starts by listing four categories of people alongside the fact that every of those dimensions carries glory. It starts by saying, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. So there is glory in that level of wisdom. That wisdom there is not divine wisdom. Sophia, human wisdom, scientific wisdom, wisdom that is a product of exploring life for a long time. It says let not please go back 23 let not the wise man glory in his wisdom when the bible says to not do something it means that it is possible to do it are we together that means there is a level of glory that the wisdom of this world can bring then he moves to the next level it says neither let the mighty man glory in your might so there is glory in might there are men and women with all kinds of might intellectual might military might and there is a level of glory that you see there number three he says let not the rich man glory in his riches it means there is glory in riches are we together that it is possible for you to be rich and there is a glory there and then he says but let him that glory it so in any case there must be glory but he's only giving you a reference listen carefully he is not saying glory in strength and all of this and he's showing you an excellent dimension that there is glory in the wisdom of men are we together now there is glory in might there is glory in riches however this is the kind and the dimension i want your glory to be a derivative of the fact that you understand and you know me because in understanding and knowing me there is a representation of all these glories you forsake that you ignore the glory that comes with the wisdom of men you ignore the glory that comes with might aside from God. You ignore the glory that comes with riches outside of God. And then you seek to understand and know him. He says there is a glory that is in that experience. That is surpassing. Greater than the glory that comes. All of these dimensions of glory, they are there. 
but he's showing you that there is a glory that excels there is a glory that excels the wisdom of men there is a glory that excels the might of men there is a glory that excels earthly riches he says that glory is a product of an encounter that you understand and you know me that means that if four of us stand we can both emit levels of glory but i can trace the basis of that glory i can know that your glory comes just from earthly riches your glory comes from sophia human wisdom your glory comes from the military might but i can look at a man and know that this one this glory is a product of knowing god is it not written in your bible that the people that do know their god they shall be strong and they shall do exploits the word glory is very important the glory of a thing is a measure of its worth listen carefully in the simplest term the glory of a thing is a measure of its worth a measure of its value a measure of its desirability the more glorious a person and a thing is the more you are desired the more the weight of the value that is placed on you and so imagine with me for instance that all of these dimensions are like gold that you are placing on a scale so you place the glory that comes from earthly wisdom and the scale will measure it you will write it you place the glory that comes with riches and might but then that there is a glory that the scale cannot measure when it comes from knowing God you drop it is a glory that excels is an all surpassing glory please pay attention I'm building something now so the Bible begins to contrast number one he says it is important that the saints glory but it tells you what to glory in because hearing is our father glorified when you bear much fruit in your being glorified God is being glorified John 17 Jesus said the hour has come glorify now thy son that thy son may give you glory meaning an unglorified saint cannot bring glory to the father the glory of the father is in the glory of the saints are we together now that if there is a dimension of glory the saints do not express it will short circuit the understanding of creation about God glorify now thy son that thy son will bring you glory add weight to your son add desirability put something within him that the rich outside you cannot have put something within him that the wise outside you cannot have that when you stand on the scale of destiny is a weight that cannot be measured the glory that excels hmm. in mark chapter 2 jesus taught a mystery that i want to connect to this very quickly his mysteries were captured in his parables and in one of the parables he teaches us on the mystery of wineskins please give us verse 18 mark chapter 2 there is a glory that excels and the disciples of john and the pharisees and you know and they came on to him and said to him why do the disciples of john and of the pharisees fast oh dear but thy disciples fast not 19 and jesus said he's replying a question remember that the foundation of this question was the issue of rituals structures systems keep that in mind so he was challenging jesus's violation of a system this is the basis for this statement there is a methodology there is a way things were done and now they found out that jesus was routing his system he was not conforming to what they were doing and they they were questioning his authority what gave you the audacity to come up with another formula 
we are used to this this is the ritual but now jesus we see you mentoring your disciples through another route and jesus is replying can the children of the bridegroom or bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them as long as they have the bridegroom with them they cannot fast 20 but the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them and then they shall fast in those days 21 he says no man now listen he's buttressing on this point now no man also sewed a piece of new cloth on an old garment else the new piece that filled it up take it away from the old and the rent is made worse are we together now next verse and no man put it new wine into old bottles or an old wine skin why else the new wine don't bust the bottles and the wine is spilled and the the bottles will be marred but the new wine must not may be put in a new wine skin listen very carefully jesus is teaching them something here very powerful and then he now brings this his parables on the cloth and then more importantly the wine skin he's saying that if you put wine skin i hope you know that the wine skin he now calls old was once new don't forget that what he now calls old was by a reference new and now he's saying that if you are bringing new wine that it is not possible to bring new wine and put it in an old wine skin that the effect it would be better to have left the old wine and the old wine skin that if you try to mix them there will be a reaction and that that reaction will make the condition worse listen carefully there is a reason why revivals never last there is a reason why the move of god comes for a while revival 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 people organize programs and for one or two weeks people feel spiritual they feel connected and one month later everyone has gone back to his ways the reason is because we continue to violate the condition that makes for new wine to be comfortable the focus is never on the new wine he says you attract new wine by doing something to the wine skin you don't ask new wine to come something must happen to the wine skin that automatically attracts new wine listen carefully wine skin in scripture is symbolic of structures and systems you have to understand this it's not only just symbolic of a man it's symbolic of methodologies and strategies that for every move of God there is a pattern and there is a spiritual formation that can contain it and host it are we together now I shared with you in one of the services how that when it came to killing the Philistines God gave Samson a revelation and he took the dry bone jaw bone of an ass and he killed the philistines with it as soon as he was done he was asked to throw it sometimes you don't throw things because they have stopped working you throw them because they will not be needed again although they are still working the bible never said the old wine skin were already torn it could still contain it but that new wine in an old wine skin cannot last every move of god and every dimension of glory has a spiritual formation that you must assume otherwise the glory will not be comfortable around you and it will be wasted this is what jesus is teaching that anything anything that is new from heaven that is coming the focus is not on what is coming the focus is on the preparation Ejimi shared that scripture powerfully here. When it was time for them to experience the glory of God, there were conditions. He said, sanctify yourself. One day is not enough. Two days is not enough. Three days is not enough. Prepare yourself. And even at that, when they saw the glory they were preparing for, they said, Moses, you go and just talk with God. Whatever he tells you, tell us, we will listen. 
most people are not prepared for what they pray for because the glory of God listen is one thing to ask and continue to ask one of the reasons why the glory of God may elude certain people the weightiness of his presence it may be that we continue to desire that the new wine comes upon the old wine skin and God says my not giving you is an act of my mercy because there will be a reaction when the new wine comes upon the old wine skin that your condition will be worse than you currently are that means it is possible to dish out revelation and a believer's life starts failing from the day he had that revelation it is not only error that destroys there is a dimension of truth you can bring and from the day the believer received it his life begins to go down because the effect of that new wine on his old wine skin creates room for his own destruction this is not a demon this is not satan this is a spiritual reaction jesus is teaching us here so he's giving us a word of caution that if it is true that you need a new wine skin then you must find out the structure when the glory of god was going to rest upon the tabernacle in the old testament at that time the tabernacle was a new wine skin so bezalel and aholiab had to receive from god the blueprint the kind of tabernacle that can host the glory they were praying for are we together now they were never to be left to decide god come read your bible god never comes until the people are prepared by his standards not by their desire not by their cry not by their hunger whenever god wants to come bringing his anointing his grace and all the possibilities contained in him there will be a requirement you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin we're talking about the glory of god here that there is a glory that excels but i'm showing you the technology by which men transit to rise to superior realms every old wine was once a new wine this is what i want you to know no old wine starts as old wine the tabernacle the law was once new wine the tabernacle in the wilderness was once new wine but a day came when god said i'm connecting this story now they were used to the new wine they saw the glory that came with the tabernacle the ark of the covenant they saw the victories that it brought for them now jesus appears and then they are saying jesus if you are from god you must fit into this structure and he says i agree it was one a new wine skin but now i'm bringing in something do you have the flexibility and the unashamedness to restructure and adjust your vessel and sometimes replace it completely so that you can host the new he was speaking to scribes he was speaking to pharisees when they saw his miracles and they saw the things that he did they looked at their structure and wondered why those structures did not host that thing i hope you know god was the one who instituted their structure but god had left their structure once upon a time john was the new wine skin that was being used the theology that john brought was the most current dealing of the spirit john was in the wilderness and god was giving him mysteries until then there was nobody who could stand as anything newer than john jesus himself testified that of all the prophets no matter what they saw nobody read john's dimension of glory but john was wise when jesus came he said behold the lamb and john said look i know that with respect to this i have become an old wine skin let me decrease that he will increase are you seeing that technology i decrease this is the vessel that god is pouring his glory and when you look up to him then you are not ashamed john departed and his disciples were offended because at a point they felt john what are you doing 
you were shining you were the person at the center stage your entire theology was what we built our lives on and right now you are asking us are you trying to say all you have taught us was error and john was trying to say no i'm only showing you that there is another dimension of glory that has come and my structure cannot hold that glory i was a forerunner now that that glory has come follow that glory amazing that john himself didn't follow the glory and not even him was spared john died whereas others were being resurrected there was a provision in a new structure that john could not experience he died in offense he died in pain he died hating jesus he died probing the messiahship of jesus the man who ordained jesus to ministry the man who caused that his heavens were open he said go and ask him are you the messiah or should we seek for another notice that every time they fought jesus they didn't just fight the miracles they fought the wine skin the structure why are you coming with another pattern they caught a woman who was in adultery and there was a structure already that when this woman is caught you don't discuss you stone her and immediately jesus looks at them and creates another order listen to me you cannot put new wine skin new revelation new anointing new glory structure that does not have the provision to receive it the question is to sustain the sacrifice and the flexibility that even if it means to tear the old wine to give way let me tell you that's not as easy as it sounds that's why we are here tonight if it was that easy many people will carry the glory that excels the hardest part of the coming of the glory is not its arrival it is the level of stretching that happens to a man to have the new wine skin that makes for the space that this new glory will come upon that's why we are here we can we can shout and jump and say greater anointing oh god greater this do you know that the level of living is not the same every level of glory has its rules and conditions this is it so we may be born again but the spiritual levels and the levels of glory that come out of us will have certain rules because of the level god has taken you he will give you a rule that is only applicable to you on earth no other person it may not make sense but that is the price to keep the wine skin new and we will never settle for less we know there's more that's found in you and we will never settle for less when we know there's more that's found in you i wrote something down here listen that every level of glory has its demands there is a price to pay for every dimension of the glory of god that we seek to have many people think it's just automatic just because jesus died no sir there is a demand for every face and every level of glory the new wine skin is formed when you are willing to subscribe to the terms that make for higher glory you form the new wine skin by making a decision that lord i desire this dimension of your glory i desire this dimension of your weightiness your presence upon my life now please listen listen somewhere along this conference we are going to be doing an impartation but many of us let me be sincere with you the reason why so many men of god continue to pray and lay hands on you and they bless you from their heart you can go around and say i met bishop oedeko i met papa deboye have you met this yes but nothing in your life reflects the glory because there was a repulsion their prayer brought the glory but it met a structure that would not allow it you see that you believe that you receive because you fell down but i'm telling you now that your falling down was not your receiving look at the strict condition elisha went through
to carry a mantle i hope you know it was elijah that was teaching other people they were the students in the school of the spirit yet it was not enough for them to carry the the bible testifies they were in his school think how much of an angry man elijah was i won't be surprised that elijah slapped elijah once that kind of tamper that calls fire will you want to work with such a person once upon a time elijah was the new wine skin and the wine skin kept looking for a replacement all over he looked at the entire prophets and none of them had the formation none not once and there was a man who kept stretching himself went beyond gilgal went all through and while that was happening elijah was watching elijah continued to frustrate him intentionally and that guy would not be offended look at all the attributes that were preparing him for that mantle then when they crossed beyond jordan elijah looks at him and says you are really desperate i i see the formation you are looking like me now the the kind of alignment i i remember this and i know that you are about to receive something and he says what do you want then the man said sir with all due respect i know where you stopped i went more than that i can take twice you could not take twice your own anointing where you stopped i respect it but my i stretch myself beyond the capacity of that level of grace and he said one more test young man the last test was the test of sight the test of sight not just the test of physical endurance all right you have qualified but one last test if it is true that you stretch the way you claim something should have happened to your eyes and so let me see if you really pass the test because anyone who stretches enough for a double portion something should have happened to his eyes it is impossible to say you have stretched like that and your eyes is still blind therefore my dear son if you can see me as i rise and he looked and suddenly the eyes he said i see you oh my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof listen the anointing came without confusion and he went to jordan he said where is the lord god of elijah he parted it and it parted hither and thither and the moment that happened the prophet saw him and they said the spirit of elijah taught rest on elijah they were so ignorant they didn't even know it was two times it was a double portion graces don't just come anointings don't just come there is a glory that excels listen carefully prosperity does not just come leave things don't just come i tell you the reason why the move of god and the treasures of the kingdom never stay on people it will come for a while and then our lack of structure will fight it and it will go so you find out that churches experience certain moves of the spirit for three weeks strange signs and wonders angelic encounters and then it leaves they never experience it again could this be why sometimes when prophecy comes the results happen slowly and then it leaves because you received the prophecy it came from heaven but the spiritual formation that will allow it says now arise oh god from where you are we have prepared a structure that will make you feel comfortable whether you are in heaven or you are in solomon's temple now arise oh lord it says come to your resting place this is even how demons work they don't just enter anybody they search for a formation that looks like where they are coming from or better than it so when a demon looks at a man he knows you are not aligned enough for manipulation so it will continue to create systems around your life that tilt you to be aligned enough then it can come was it not in your bible that when a demon leaves a man when it is returning it doesn't return alone it doesn't just return double portion it gathers seven of its kind and comes for many years i wanted to know the mystery 
behind the very heavy investment of God's presence in others as against others and I gauged it by many parameters and I found out it didn't match I gauged it by many spiritual parameters until I found out that this was the secret now arise O Lord come to your resting place that means consistently from heaven mantles and graces and new levels are searching they continue to move around every service looking for new wine skins and they may not find wine skins here is the answer to why men can be in church for many years and someone will just come and receive the person came with hunger he had stretched himself someone else is standing amen 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 and nothing is happening let me tell you my brothers and my sisters i will show you what to do to the wine skin and then you will see the kind of glory and power that will come upon your life my life changed and the grace of god upon my life took another dimension all of these dimensions you see me walking in they were never there i prayed and said lord what is the secret thank god for impartation but i knew that mm -mm, impartation is the last step to this thing there is a way why did elijah have to go through this laborious journey with elijah why there is a huge price for the glory that excels you want to speak and let things just happen you want god to touch the hearts of men no this thing is not acting my brothers and my sisters it is not even just about praying 10 hours it is not even just about fasting dry fast there is something that must happen from within now arise O oh lord come to your resting place you and the ark of your might and then we will rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness celebrate i remember some years ago one night i i will never forget that night i was watching william branham and tears filled my eyes that night i was so tired i was sleepy but i was watching him and you know the whole documentary on him and i said why do people insult this man you know they make it look like he backslided he left god just because he missed some things here and there there are graces that when you carry i will show you there is you have to ask god to help you stand the heaviness of that grace even you god will have to support you otherwise you will not stand i had a vision i will share with you some visions that i've never shared here during this conference let me finish the william branham story we're going to pray i remember that night i was looking at this man and for the first time a sense of honor and compassion i said this is an amazing servant of god the humility that came from that man's life versus all the nonsense that ignorant people kept saying i said look at the look at this man of god look at the grace that comes out of this man and something strange happened to me it was like light from my laptop something cold just rested on my head gradually i didn't used to walk in the prophetic here and there maybe word of knowledge this and that here and there and something cold gradually it took more than 30 minutes it was entering me the next meeting i went to it was like a shock that was when i started seeing angelic presence like lights like ribbons and i said what is this that i'm seeing let me tell you mantles are still looking for men the problem is that there are too many old wineskins structures that refuse to bend structures that refuse to adjust one day i kept praying i wrote the names of certain fathers of faith 
that I was praying that God would put upon me the grace that he put upon them and then I had a dream in that dream I was in Canaan land I think then okay they just a few years after they had built uh, let's see no I'm not sure it was more than it wasn't yet up to 10 years since they built the the auditorium there and then I found myself preaching and just like the stage here I was standing you have to just keep your toe just the tip of your toe that's how you stand to preach and the stage was shaking and I couldn't stand well and I said is this how these guys stand to preach that's what I saw in that vision that means all you see is not just standing on stage many people are standing on there are weights there are gracious people carry that the moment you talk about them in the secret that grace was designed because of the weightiness there are extra privileges that come with it you will find out that your heavens will close alone in the secret no demonic assistance just because of the weightiness of it it is true my brothers and my sisters that even among the stars one different from another in glory in glory this that looks small is a deep spiritual secret it's possible to remain at the same level and God sees that you are better off at that level but if it is the glory that excels that you want to receive a dimension of his weightiness you want to add weight to your spiritual life the requirement is not just prayer the requirement is not just Bible study I'm going to show you the requirement turn with me please very quickly to 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 many of you have not been trained to have regard for the glory of God that comes upon men 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 from verse 17 please for our light affliction which is but for a moment what is the affliction doing walk it for us stop stop there is a raw material that trains men the Bible calls it affliction I know you don't <laughs> For this hammer that I use, work it in me, this vessel. That affliction is like a hammer that can chisel a man. He may not know what is happening, but there is a, a, a formation happening. Our light affliction, Apostle Paul is writing, that work it for us a what? I told you there is a glory that excels if it is that weight of glory you want there is a dimension of affliction that the bible says it is a tool that is used you don't like the nice message i know <laughs> hmm. what do you think makes god to have a covenant with a man not old testament not new testament what do you think empowers that you make a statement and god just honors you reading the bible just praying in the night no sir no sir there are secrets one of them is your volunteering to affliction it was it didn't it say i bear in my he said let no man trouble me i carry a glory that excels and here are the scars that show for it let no demon resist me because i carry a glory that excels and here is the scar that shows you want to be an envoy of his presence you want to host the glory of god you want to host the power of god let me tell you there are some sacrifices if you make in the kingdom god will not allow you make other kinds again forever it is true it is true sir there are men and women because of the sacrifice they've had with god god will never allow them to learn about money again in this life it will never happen it's an exemption for them 
because of what there is an accreditation that happened in that place of pain it's true i always wondered why so many people broke certain principles that i knew that made for certain results and then it looks like life will punish everybody and jump them life will punish everybody and jump them and i said why and god said i am just find out they paid an equivalent of that sacrifice already it is true my brothers and my sisters it is true there is a glory that excels but the bible says for our light affliction which is but for a moment walketh in us a far more exceeding weight of glory next verse it says while we look not at the things what are the things the afflictions the things that are seen but the things that are unseen it says for the things that are seen are temporal temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal romans chapter 8 from verse 18 for i reckon that the sufferings you know this is paul writing i hope you know it was the same paul that wrote to third of the new testament when paul says i glory in my affliction now you understand what he was saying how do you glory in affliction believers tell me how you glory in affliction that a man is in chains and bonds and he calls it glory I wish what I were telling you were not true was it not because of what Mary was going to carry that all the trouble came upon her life Mary was an innocent virgin for God's sake minding her business and here comes this young carpenter you just ask her out all of a sudden an angel comes and says Mary there is something we are we are looking for who can carry it we have been searching other women and they refused probably some had the dream and they casted it mm, leave me i want peace in my life and here comes mary let me tell you if everyone were available the angel would not come it looked like gabriel had been searching and finally he says let me try this one we bring you salutation of great joy and she wondered what salutation he said this is what will happen to you and then the woman says be it unto me she thought she was saying let me be pregnant no the process that will allow me to carry the word for nine months be it unto me from that day mary got in trouble to the point that joseph was saying madam i don't know what is it that happened between you and this ghost i don't know which rabbi you are calling an angel but i i won't embarrass you but me i'm going what happens when things start going down and it started the day god spoke to you you were minding your business and it looked like you were better off the day a voice came you will be a mighty man of god from that day your life it looks like god what i was minding myself i was living a happy quiet wonderful life then you go to lie down and sleep and you are seeing a generation and you say god please leave my peace i want my plan is to live a nice life ah. this is the price for carrying the burden of a generation king of kings lord of lords faithful and true lamb of god we worship King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. I preached a message years ago called the furnace of affliction. And several people said all kinds of things against the message and I said, oh dear. God has an economy. God has a non-negotiable system. This is the reason why he loves everybody, but not everybody carries the same weight of glory. 
my brothers and my sisters the glory of god upon a man is not dependent on his predetermined counsel is how much you are willing to be stretched until you are reformed like the potter sometimes you will need to smash that clay again and start building you built it before into a vessel and then you will smash it back and that clay is you hallelujah it's a very very huge sacrifice to carry the glory of God the weightiness of his presence most times we admire the results that we see but let me tell you my brothers and my sisters behind the veil what you see there is the blood and the tears that came with lifting this weight it's a heavy weight a far more exceeding weight of glory a far more exceeding weight of glory hallelujah that you speak to a man and his life does not change you go back to god and say lord why now i spoke and god says no there is a glory level there is there not every part of the mountain delivers the same result it says who shall ascend to the hill of the lord it's a journey if an aircraft will not keep you at the top of the hill you will walk there were five thousand men aside women and children who climb up the mountain and they were privy to hear certain things that others did not hear the way to the throne is the cross the way to the throne is the cross you will never get to the throne ignoring the cross the only ladder that you will use to climb the throne of destiny is the cross where God will give you a governmental grace to speak over nations you become Beulah and Hephzibah the desire of nations notice in the parable of the talents do you know the real blessing that happened to them it was not well done good and i used to think it was well done good and faithful servant until one day the spirit of the lord says study it and i found out well done good and faithful servant was a pattern of their back certain portions were up, were given to them territorial influences that was the blessing the labor of doing something with what they were given qualified them for these dimensions at every level at every level please listen to me carefully at every level there is a demand there is a level of sacrifice there is a level of real sacrifice that makes for certain glories but paul said compared to the glory that that level delivers the sacrifice can be called a light affliction second corinthians chapter 3 we are going to pray from verse 9 and 10. it says for if the ministration of condemnation talking about the law now carried some glory in it he said much more that the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory next verse it says for even that which was made glorious had no glory in this respect by reason of the glory that excels that there is a level you can walk with god my brothers and my sisters and through this sacrifice of remolding yourself to become a new wine skin that god will put a dimension of his glory that when you look back what you used to call glory that it is not glory in this respect a level of signs and wonders a level of the performance of god's word a level of increase and grace a level of prosperity the wealth of the kingdom a level of spiritual illumination it comes by that track record of pain and sacrifice 
sacrifice the weightiness of god's glory finding vessels that can fit it the weightiness of god's power finding vessels that can receive it the weightiness of the spirit of revelation finding men there are times that it comes close and you fall it you can't even host it first and then it goes back waiting for you to truly become that vessel it says but we all like living stones we are being chiseled and built into a spiritual house a house that can host god there are many things in my life today i would have prayed for for so long to come but sometimes just a desire in my heart is enough to bring it the secret is that when you contend for the glory that excels please hear me if you're a man of god here hear me twice what we call ministry now in the next five years many people will be frustrated because there are people pressing into these dimensions genuinely there are people that desire tangibility substance of the spirit they are the ones who will become the desire of nations and many others will pale and fade in glory this is not backsliding this is that god has begun something it's a new order and like john the baptist and like the scribes you may scrounge around for relevance but the light now is on jesus the question therefore is are you willing to subscribe to the demands demands of lifestyle demands of covenant listen it will cost you everything the price for all of god is all of you let me say it again the price for all of god is all of you write it media let the word lend this the price for god's head is not all of you the price for god's hand is not all of you the price for god's heart and all of him is all of you that's why we can see certain dimensions you just want the wisdom of god or some dimensions of his creativity but not all of him if you want to host god then all of you must be beaten like the potter with the clay it's not a gospel that many people like nobody likes suffering nobody likes affliction we were not designed that way that's why it's a sacrifice there is a glory that excels but it will come upon vessels that have been worked on changed it says now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty then it says we all with unveiled face beholding him as in a glass we are changed you know it looks like once you are just looking you are being changed ask elisha it was not just looking like it was saying there is a dynamics of death that works in you so that life will work in other people let me tell you this 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 thing i'm teaching you is a is a master mystery even in the occult and those who practice all of these things they are, the level of glory in quote if i will use that word is corresponding to their, the level of tremendous sacrifice i remember reading a book about a, a somebody who would receive some kind of strange power and the condition was to fast non-stop for 150 days if you miss one day you start afresh you don't continue you fast to a point that you don't know whether you have eaten or not there is your body has lost the ability to tell you whether you are full or you are hungry so god will want to take you to certain realms and god will now say oh pastor alpha because of what i'm about to do for the next five months i will need every 12 to 3 a.m of your time not three to five regardless of what the event is the demand is 12 o'clock to three the next six months think about it if you are interested let me know you will be free from 9 to 11 that's not the timing god gave you you will even be free from 40 forever you will find out that you will be so 
tired by 11 45 you don't know if you are standing or sitting but you remember that our light affliction you may look stupid see it's difficult to do these things when you have people that love you they will pity you too much to allow you continue the pain of what you go through it will attract their sympathy that's why abraham told the servants wait here i have to go alone with my sacrifice if those servants were on the mountain they will fight abraham and bring isaac down there are certain things when god wants to do in your life you you will have to agree with him that you will be alone in this so that he can do with you what he wants because the innocence and the humanity of men sometimes will interrupt the process if you're married and you see your husband eating once a week and acting like a strange man one day you will be tired you will close the door and sit down there and start crying and whether he's, he's serious with god or not the compassion that comes from that union will make him say god whatever it is please let me just let me just let me just subscribe to the demands of my wife what do you think made john the greatest prophet have you studied john's life how much of his life was in public view look at how john was born from that time at least for jesus we saw what happened the first 12 years what happened to the next 18 years of jesus is something you should find out because the bible does not tell us any other thing again about jesus from age 12 until 30 we see a man coming what happened for those 18 years what happened to the 19 years of paul in the wilderness of arabia what happened to the 40 years of moses at the backside of the mountain let me show you that this is consistent with men who carry glory it is not new it didn't start now Are we together john the baptist the bible just shows us that there is an adult in the wilderness who was given a, a what i would call a wicked prescription there was meat those days there was fish those days there was wine those days but he dressed in camel skin and then he was in the wilderness and the only food that he was allowed to eat was locusts and wild honey was he not the prophet that was told to sleep on one side for one year i don't know if you don't read your bibles did you read about the prophet who ate animal dung for one year <laughs> i tell you why our generation is powerless we are noisy people but there's no power this is it we hate the sacrificial dimension that brings the glory let him that glory and glory in this that he knoweth me he understands my way and because of his subscribing to my patterns he can carry a glory that is greater than the glory of the wise greater than the glory of the strong greater than the glory of the rich there are men let me tell you i believe that there are people who will open up their hearts and say lord i am willing let's go this journey i am willing i am willing you know most times we sing songs of surrender we just sing them as special numbers i want you now to think because god answers those prayers use me oh god i'm available and god says i'm listening keep talking do with me anything you want to do uh, have you had that kind of prayer god says thank you this is all i've been asking you it's a dangerous prayer to say do with me what you want it's even dangerous to sing it do with me what you want do with me what you want you study the scapegoat that was taken malhandled and taken everywhere he was led like a sheep to the slaughter do with me what you want lord my life is yours do with me what you want and god says okay i look at you and i need to chisel here and here can i go on and you say lord i've said do with me what you want the first hammer touching you you say god is this it no 
I changed my mind. Is it by force? I'm already born again. God says, it's not by force. But then, the glory you seek, do not be angry when you see it on another person. So many men of God can be here. But there is glory that excels corresponding to the spiritual sacrifices let me tell you this is a non-negotiable condition there are cups you don't pray to pass you you obtain the grace to drink them he said grant that you know when you have conquered caesar etc etc let me sit at your left and right the mother of james and john was asking jesus didn't say there is no vacancy he said you want to sit close to me here is the condition one can you drink of my cup internal and can you be baptized with my baptism the woman didn't answer it for the children john would later answer it and he paid for it he really did he was at the isle of patmos but that guy had so pressed into these things that hot oil had no effect on him and peronero said what do we do with this guy now we have tried to roast him in oil it didn't work and they banished him to an isle called patmos these are the men the bible says the earth is not worthy of there is a reason why the earth is not worthy they walk sometimes like fugitives and vagabonds looking for a city whose builder and maker is the lord they so pressed into these things for some of them life made no sense again take all of me all of me lord you have my everything use all of me all of me lord you have my anoint my everything use my everything i release my everything you have my everything say take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord I thought Jesus being the son of God Jakes should should exempt him from this pattern why will the son of God be in the wilderness talk to me believers the son of God left heaven born of the spirit he didn't change the pattern as soon as Jesus came out of the water it was not a demon that drove him there are many times what drives you to that wilderness is not always satan the spirit didn't speak he drove him to the wilderness notice that every time these men were in these places they were alone it's not a corporate thing it's not a husband and wife thing it's not a classmate it's not a roommate thing it is you and god and your destiny This is the price it takes to be trusted with the keys of a generation this is the price it takes to become the face of god to a generation it's not by voting it's not by popularity census it's not by likes and shares it's a testament of a sacrifice in the spirit known by both god and demons believers either we are just playing games and we truly do not desire to be the carriers of this glory or someone here will be willing to pray listen let me tell you you would think the sacrifice to host god's glory is hard until you see the alternative the alternative is a miserable life of guessing left right and center with your destiny shattered and you are you are a victim of just anything jesus paid the price once and he was ready by this time many years ago jesus was in hell hellfire jesus hellfire jesus hades the place of the dead and the father was watching 
and all these demons were upon their own creator the word of god that proceeded ah but though weeping endures for a night one thing i know is that affliction does not remain forever it has an expiry date when the legal claims of justice were made paul reveals to us by the spirit that jesus made a public show of them triumphing over them and one of the things he got in hell so there can be keys in hell and you will need to go down to hell to get some keys sometimes you will need to go down to come up with keys jesus descended before he ascended so you will rise up by going down are we together now and he collected the keys and in revelations he said i am he that was dead but now i am alive and i hold the keys the coronation service only happened when he went through this We're going to pray tonight there is a glory that excels i bring you a very powerful mystery the glory that excels romans chapter 12 and verse 1 i beseech thee brethren who is he talking to brethren not unbelievers I beseech thee brethren by the mercies of God that you do what offer offer your bodies as a not a sacrifice a living sacrifice let me tell you what that means a sacrifice that remains a sacrifice when a sacrifice dies it stops being a sacrifice it's over the real sacrifice was the life of that object so when the life goes there's no more sacrifice it is the process of extracting life from that thing that is the sacrifice now he says you are a sacrifice you are alive but it's a posture you will continue to take holy and acceptable unto god and he says it's your reasonable act of worship I have found this key from the day i found this key i stopped being afraid of pain i stopped being afraid of sacrifice i became friends with it and i found out that in that darkness that's where light comes from god who had commanded light to shine out of darkness not into darkness out of darkness darkness is the mother that gives birth to light and the evening came and the morning and the evening came and the morning let me encourage you listen to me listen to me very carefully be careful so that you don't judge things from the standpoint of men there are certain things that you may be passing through that you may think these things are happening just because of unbelief i told you that faith doesn't always receive it also takes faith to release you lose things too by faith by faith abel offered a more excellent sacrifice there were women who their children died and instead of them to raise them back they said no problem let them go and the bible calls it faith read it it's not everybody who brought their child back to life that were called men of faith others died Do you know why plants grow because they subscribe to this same principle death and glory when you carry a seed and throw it on the earth what happens you studied agri what happens the life is in the death takes you come back after two days if you open it you will see that there is no more beauty there is no beauty in the grave there is no comeliness there is only the death that brings resurrection and notice what happens the first thing that happens is some process of decay and even degradation and then out of the rottenness it begins to open it's the shaping as bad as it is 
is making room for something new and sometimes it can be so bad that part of the old one will come out too with a new one and you can look at it and know this is the dead seed and this is the one that grows i wish i can tell you the glory of god comes just by speaking and saying receive grace there are you want to be given the keys of a nation my brother and my sister there is a track record there is a scar there is a testament of death that must happen i presume we are going to pray tonight because it looks like we're in a funeral service you know what you do in a funeral service you dig the ground and you carry the dead body and throw it in but when you throw the body in the funeral service you don't expect it to come out but what we are engaging tonight is a mystery that when you are thrown in the grave then you are ready to come out after a few days of silence suddenly suddenly you begin to shoot against gravity with another life and that small tiny seed will now become a tree that birds will come and nest they will be grateful that you paid the price every food you eat today is because a seed volunteered to die listen to me carefully if seeds stop dying you stop rising too the reason why we continue to live is because there are seeds that are dying they died last year the moment rain starts falling isn't it amazing that when rain starts falling that's the right time for the seed to die seeds die during rain rain that should give life but that's when seeds die and then life comes from it hmm. we're going to pray in the next 10 minutes it's going to be a general prayer before i lead you find whatever corner outside this is you and god just play worship for us and you are going to say lord the death that must turn me into a new wine skin let it happen to me tonight the death that must happen oh god for the glory that this generation is waiting for don't be afraid the sacrifice Lord you are calling me to be a prophet to the nations but there is a level of death please pray this is between you and God let Darkness trembles in your holy love. Let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy love. Pray. Pray. Sila barakata jina na malana maturi arara. Vera ba she na na ma she na 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 na. Vera na na he na 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 he na 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 he. Lira sabaru shalis kamanda bradi gala shobras kadi alhasa. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. Whosoever saves his life shall lose it. But whoever loses it for my sake will gain it. We gain things in this kingdom by losing them. 
Ala baranda sana kaparuza seketazi ana kaparuza sia. Ina balana ba, ina rada da, ina rada da, ina rada da. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Are there people praying tonight? Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Yeah. Breathe on me. Walk through me, yeah. live through me. Shena matala namasya. Oh, come with the refiner's fire. 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 Oh, we go. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Ghost. Take your place. Alabaranda rara salabaratu shalega brende gera tu sia sabaratu skaba salabarusa segete barunda salabariada as the deer pants after the water brook find a generation my king. Find a generation that desires you more than life, more than wisdom, more than money, more than power. Find for yourself a bride adorned in her beauty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Surrender everything. Turn me, O oh God, to the wine skin that will host your power in this generation. Turn me, O oh God, to the wine skin that will host the end time anointing for miracles, for wealth, for signs, for wonders. Call 
Kumi na nakane Yeshua Hamashia Kumi na nakane Yeshua Hamashia Kumi na nakane Kumi na nakane Kumi na nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komi na nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komi na nakane Two or three more minutes But in a great house there are vessels of gold and of silver of wood and of clay some are unto honor and others are unto dishonor it belongs to you hey. Yeshua Hamashiach Yeshua Hamashiach Yeshua Hamashiach Yeshua Hamashiach Yeshua Hamashiach Omina Nakane Yeshua Omina Nakane You see, my brothers and my sisters, one of the assignments of fire, the primary purpose of fire was not just for demons it was for the saints it is the fire of the holy spirit it's not just holy ghost fire demons the fire not only refines not only purifies it can melt completely and then remold again it is not every time the fire comes to just purify sometimes that whole vessel needs to melt down for something new to come it is not every time god comes to adjust the old 
sometimes he comes to immerse you into his fire then remold you as something that has never been before Yeshua Hamashia Komina Nakane Yeshua Komina Nakane I'd like you tonight to pray Lord whatever took your place in my life please return to your resting place if someone praying tonight I don't know how it got there but in this season arise majesty return to your resting place hey. arise my God return to your place of rest Yeshua Hamashiach for some of us is friends some of us is the obsession to succeed some of us is the obsession to be in ministry whatever has taken its place please dethrone it this night dethrone it this night for some of us it's money that took his place reputation ego revelation the quest for the anointing in this season let me tell you the new wine of the spirit is moving from nation to nation from continents to continent finding the vessels that have the space there are all kinds of mantles graces that have not been seen before but they are searching for a new wine skin you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin you cannot put a new prophetic wine in an old prophetic wine skin a new apostolic wine in an old apostolic wine skin a new territorial wine in an old territorial wine skin let us leave the old and press for the new press for the new press for the new pray just one more minute and then we'll pray corporately that's why we came tonight without new wine you cannot have the new songs without new wine you cannot have the new sermons you will keep recycling the old copying from man of god to man of god it will take new wine to understand the rhythm of the spirit Yeshua. hallelujah praise the lord listen to me we have a few more minutes just a few minutes and then we'll stop acts chapter 26 and verse 22 there are times in your life listen where because of the kind of glory that is coming no matter how you release yourself you will still not have the capacity you will need to cry for an assistance from heaven 
it says having therefore obtained help of god i continue unto this day the reason i'm still standing from glory to glory i saturated my effort at a point but having obtained help from god i continue to this day having obtained help from god in the apostolic ministry in the prophetic ministry in the pursuits to bring the wealth of the kingdom to the saints in the pursuit to doing this and that whatever it is there are times when you stretch yourself to the limit and it still cannot make for the size of the glory you will need to turn to the helper of zion it says having therefore obtained help of god i continue it takes the help of god to keep going there are times you will reach your elastic limit you will stretch and break to pieces you will still not meet god's standard is someone ready to cry for help from heaven lord assist me assist me let 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 the divine help the alignment it will take to command the wealth of the kingdom in this season lord assist me there is only so much i can do the alignment that will be required to carry the apostolic and the prophetic grace i cry for help having obtained help from god i continue god is the helper of men god can help you he can help you rise he can help you stand he can help you reign he can help you conquer he has not stopped being the helper the holy spirit is called the helper hallelujah hallelujah please pair yourselves in twos if you can just hold someone those under the anointing or just alone just leave them but hold your hands you are going to cry to heaven agreeing with that person say lord a superior realm of results a new dimension of grace glory that is all encompassing i receive it agree 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 with somebody pray outside pray those online pray this is the season oh god of the glory that excels in ministry in business the glory that excels the glory that excels the weightiness the desirability that excels that i become the desire of nations i become the desire of kings please pray Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 45, verse 12. I believe it is the Lord just put it in my heart. This is the level that God is taking us to. I hope you remember the teaching I did about Tyre and Sidon. The marketplace of the earth where the exchange is made it says and the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people shall entreat your favor 
there is an investment of the spirit that comes upon your life listen i want to show you how this relates to extraordinary fruitfulness there are realms where you will not beg and search for your sacrifice and your investment will cause nobles to come with what you would have looked for the daughter of tyre will come with a gift the gift you would have been searching for and then the rich among the people not the poor there is a grace because you left looking for the glory of wealth to seek his face he will cause those who have the glory of the wealth to come to entreat your favor listen that means wealth is not favor because there is a favor that even the rich are looking for what is it they are not coming to just look at you there is something money cannot buy the rich will entreat your favor they will come to you and it will be a privilege to give them audience I like you to pray and say Lord on account of the glory you are putting upon my life even in this season let the daughter of Tyre begin to come with her gift and let the kings of these systems come with their treasures to entreat my favor please lift your voice and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding because i have subscribed to the glory that comes from your face not the glory that comes from wealth not the glory that comes from human wisdom not the glory that comes from human might the glory that comes from knowing you let the daughter of tyre come with her gift let the nobles of the earth begin to entreat my favor pray for koinonia in this season kings coming to entreat your favor hallelujah the bible says that a time will come when seven virgins it was a prophetic statement seven virgins will hold on to one man that spiritual jew they are not holding on to him just because he's handsome there is something that the tribe he comes from carries and seven dimensions that have not been seen come to you and say we want to be part of your life we want to be featured in your destiny such a force of attraction such a force of attraction dimensions that have never been seen they will come and latch on to you father whatever is for me in this season by the grace you are putting on my life it must be attracted to me in this season lift your voice and pray like a believer you are placing an anointing you are placing a grace and a glory you are my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory you are my glory you are my inheritance hallelujah hallelujah time will fail me to share with you the testimonies of the level of ease that your life will step into when you truly carry the glory of God the glory of God is a voice it can speak it can speak to kings that the things you once desired will come to you at a platter because his glory is upon you he says arise shine for your light has come not just that 
the glory of the Lord is risen upon you the glory that excels this is the glory that will humble the arrogance of the kings of the earth if all you look for is money you will be like them if all you look for is human scientific wisdom you will be like them if all you look for is human systems of fortification but press for his face understand his ways and let him invest upon you a glory that excels and you will watch with wonder the way god will draw glory out of your life there are new and strange kinds of anointings that are coming upon the body of christ there are new and strange dimensions of the workings of the spirit as has never been seen the times and the seasons already signify it and our own is just to say maranatha come lord come with all of these things come come the body of christ is stepping into certain offices certain levels of spiritual possibilities that micah 4 prophecy of the church ascending we will humble the pride of kings the church is not a nuisance to civilization no god is giving us a voice that cannot be silenced a voice that not the rich will ignore the poor will not ignore politicians will not ignore but our price is to become the new wine skin that can carry that new wine and when the new wine finds a resting place then there is no limit to what you can do let me round up when the feast was about to finish and jesus turned water to wine the first to taste of that wine were the rulers of the ceremony listen carefully that wine was not designed for the general congregation the wine was a statement and so the attention of the kings they were the first to taste of the wine all other kinds of wines could be taken by everyone but the kings took it and they said where did you get this people bring the best at the beginning but you have saved the last that means the investment that god is giving us is to subdue the gatekeepers of territories not just for things common no the gatekeepers of territories access to the heart of nobles because one 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 madman in gadara listen one madman in gadara is equivalent to 10 cities we don't have the time again to go one by one to every city no god will be giving us the madman in gadara and the woman by the well god is will use one person like an arrow from a man's quiver and hit nations with it that's what god is doing listen to me and hear what i'm saying again prophetically it will no longer be one by one go to this there's no time for that again so he will give us a grace one grace that can touch a voice that will make all other voices hear him that's territorial dominion it no longer will be people one by one it's a waste of time he will be taking us to the madmen at gadara for the sake of the decapolis he will be taking us to the women at the well for the sake of all who will come with her all those who have the voice of systems god will send us to them that is why we need a glory that is higher than what they have otherwise they will not hear the word of the lord upon you it was nicodemus that came to jesus by night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man not i know not i know not i know meaning that we have been watching you and we have seen 
that even though we don't have this we know that thou art a man sent from god for no man can do these things the mountain of the lord's house it will look like a dream until you see it happening until you see that god gives you the heart of kings and then you plant the seed of righteousness that in one day a nation can be saved because their kings are saved was it not in one day nebuchadnezzar signed a decree and said everywhere across babylon let the god of shadrach meshach and abednego that anyone who does not worship that god should be killed there are spectacular things that god will do to men that will change men i'm available oh. i don't know about you but my heart is listen let me tell you the truth and i sincerely tell you this the concept of church as we know it is changing fast it will no longer just be a man of god and plenty people just no 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 is going to be the level of access to territories that god will give you keys to territories men who will walk like gods upon the earth that you will speak and both your members and your non-members will be forced to hear because of what you hold this is what god is giving please i like you to be sensitive these seven days don't be casual we're we're at the edge of the unfolding of a new move of god it's like a boiling pot that is already tilting and god is doing something very prophetic and very apostolic father we give you all the praise tonight. to wait I obtain grace to wait. They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as the eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. please pray pray from the depth of your heart hallelujah praise the lord one more prayer point father my heart is opened my spirit is opened visit me tonight lift your voice and pray my heart is opened visit me tonight visit me tonight give me a visitation tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord father we are here tonight in the name of jesus we are here again in the school of the spirit we are here again in the place where you make men my help cometh from the lord the maker we are here to be made we are here to be lifted we are here to be enlightened we are here to be empowered we are here for very definite encounters tonight and lord we cry we cry in the name of jesus that our expectations will not be cut short tonight we pray that you will heal the sick we pray that you will deliver the oppressed let the veil, O oh God, that stands between our desires 
and their manifestations let the veils be torn into pieces holy spirit we grant you access not only access to this place but access to our lives access to our minds access to our hearts access to our destinies that you will manipulate everything to look like christ we give you all the praise in the name of jesus christ amen and amen please be seated god bless you good evening hallelujah praise the lord let me again welcome very specially all those who are worshiping with us for the first time it's always an honor as we receive people who have come from different places far and near hallelujah tonight we're going to pray but then what i'm about to share with you tonight i pray in the name of jesus that you will never forget it for the rest of your life I pray that you will add it to the archives of the mysteries of the kingdom Amen. that you will use to wrought righteousness in this life Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. I remain committed to sharing with us the truths of the Word of God that make men that lift men that empower men and when these truths come it's important that our hearts receive them receive them receive them are we together you can listen but it does not mean you are receiving you can hear you can even take notes there are two notes there is the tablet on your hand and there is a tablet of your heart it says do not let them depart from you keep them in the midst of your heart they are life to those who find them and health to your flesh hallelujah psalms 106 verse 4 koinonia is a place where every time we gather it's not only an encounter with the holy spirit it's a feast of light the mysteries of the kingdom the principles by which the saints command victory in their lives and in their territories we're going to read two verses together and then I'll just establish a few things and we will pray. Psalms 106 and verse 4. Please let's read together if you can see it. One to read. Remember me, O Lord, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. O visit me with thy salvation. Scripture number 2. Isaiah 49 from verse 14. To 16 Isaiah 49 let's read together one to read but Zion said the Lord hath forsaken me and my Lord hath forgotten me 15 can a woman forget her suckling child that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb yea they may forget yet I will not forget you 16 behold i have graven thee upon the palms of my hands thy walls are continually before me help us holy spirit the book of remembrance write it down i want to share with you a very powerful and deep spiritual mystery very deep spiritual mystery the book of remembrance Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Yahweh. 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 Let 
John was banished on account of the testimony of Christ. Please sit down. And whilst John was in heaven, he had access to many, many truths about the operation of heaven. John was told to write a letter to the seven churches in the then Asia Minor, which were a typology of the complete church admonishing them across different lines of the spirit walk then john had access to the throne room where he saw the worship of the father and the worship of the lamb then john had access to the things that will happen thereafter he began to see the end of times and the desolation that would come upon the nations then when we get to chapter 20 john is given the privilege again to go to the throne room and he's watching and john testifies that there are books in heaven and books were opened the book of life was only one of the books this is john's record and we know that his record is true john said he saw that there were books in heaven that those books had many functions and that those books were for earth there were things that happened in the earth that were captured in those books one of those books is what i want to share with you what it represents in the lives of the saints it's called the book of remembrance hmm. the book of remembrance memory is a very deep spiritual mystery please look at me memory is an advantage that god gave man it is because of the power of memory that you are able to remember it is because of the power of memory that you are able to preserve knowledge are we together now it will be impossible to advance in science and so on and so forth if you lack memory memory is a system of retention is god's intelligence given to man an ability to retain things because god is not only a giver he's a keeper but i know whom i have believed follow me tonight and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed so god has many systems of keeping things there is a system that keeps the prayers of the saints the bible says the prayers of the saints arise like incense and they are collected in a vial and stored he's able to keep hallelujah and that one of the things that can be kept in heaven is the activities of the saints in the earth and that there is a book called the book of remembrance now the book of remembrance to a carnal man would suggest that god forgets the book of remembrance is not necessarily supposed to remind god as though he forgot no the book of remembrance is one of the ways that god administers justice in heaven please understand this in the judiciary some of you who are lawyers and are legal practitioners you have a very thorough knowledge of the constitution 
however there is a manual a compendium of all of the policies that should govern the activities of men within a defined territory and when you are in the law court i pray that god will open your eyes tonight when you are in the law court you not only need your memory you need the books the books that archive and represent the basis of your advocacy the judge himself before he would pass a declaration no matter how experienced he will make reference to the books and consult with the things that are written there please listen very carefully and as he consults with the things that are written there he would be able to come up with certain verdicts there are people who look guilty until the book bails them out there are people who look innocent until the book proves otherwise and then we see that there is a book of remembrance the activities of men in the earth the bible clearly lets us know that there is the all-seeing eye of god now if you studied fine arts you would have learned something called perspective is that true that means that a viewpoint you can stand from an angle and they will ask you to capture every information you can find paint it draw it let it be represented are we together now the same applies for technical drawing and anything that has to do with construction you are taught to be able to capture realities and images and information from different angles now so when i am here now i cannot clearly see overflow one i almost totally cannot see overflow three i cannot see our online people and so when we talk about the ability to see it's difficult for us to understand how god sees because we think that god uses his eyes to see The realm that God dwells in. Listen very carefully. The realm itself is an eye. The Bible says, listen carefully. That God dwells in unapproachable light. That he is full of light and in him there is no darkness no shadow of turning no variableness are we together now so that everything that surrounds god everything emanates light and so there is no possibility of darkness i hope you know that darkness also means the absence of information the absence of truth so that from the realm of god it is impossible for any activity to happen within a sphere that is under the jurisdiction of his creation that he cannot see are we together now the concept of sight we only know it based on what physics would teach us or medicine and and all of that but you have to look at sight as a product of light if the bible says there is no iota of darkness that means there is no absence of information there is absolutely nothing upon the face of the earth that the all-seeing eye of god the creator cannot see now this is very powerful because there are things that you would wish a man saw so that you would be able to advocate for you for instance the injustice that happens in our world are we together now people can be oppressed and use their earthly influence to manipulate injustice to become justice but the bible records that while all of that is happening in the earth the all-seeing eye of god is there a system of vindication that what men cannot vindicate you on there is still hope are we together now please follow me very carefully so we're discussing books here God sees all things. God knows all things. God is everywhere. This is the unique attribute of God that he did not share with man. 
it is what qualifies God to be in a class of himself God gave man any other thing gave him his image gave him dominion gave him the Holy Spirit but God did not give man omnipresence God did not give man omniscience God did not give man omnipotence these exclusive dimensions are reserved in God's class man does not know all things man cannot be everywhere are we together now this is very powerful so the Bible records that every once in a while God would seem to show up in the earth and then begin to backdate certain things whether for good or for evil that there is a system by which God can go back in time and begin to deal with an issue that you may think has been long forgotten and that there is also a system where God can go back in time and begin to reward the saints for certain things now please understand what I'm telling you then the Bible comes to the earth realm and begins to teach that men can forget are we together now scripture is scattered with this possibility that the best of us can forget your memory card can crash is that true your laptop can crash there's something in medicine called brain damage i don't know what it is but i i have an idea that whatever it is it represents a state where your brain for some reason may not coordinate at the frequency it was supposed to there are people who have gone into coma is that true and they came back and could not identify their wives their husbands is that true they didn't even know themselves they didn't know how to walk again how to talk again now i hope you know that if memory is not a possibility you will not be able to walk you will not anything you did now you will not remember again so that memory is an advantage you can archive yesterday and use the information for today i don't have to learn to walk again i learned it once it's been recorded it's been stored anytime i need to walk i use the mystery of remembrance are we together now listen very carefully i don't have to learn alphabets a to z again i did that many years ago but because of this power the ability of retention through memory and the ability to call the past into your present not everything in your past is bad i can call that knowledge and use it today is that true if i raise a song now that you used to sing when you were small it's amazing how effortless you will still sing it remember you did not rehearse but for the power of remembrance but as as flawless as men are they still forget they can forget i can give you a promise come show i can give you a promise meet me tomorrow and i'll give you one thousand naira and excite you you may remember but i may forget whether for health reasons demonic manipulation or just whatever it is and you come to me making a demand and i say no 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 i cannot remember and i rob you an opportunity to enjoy this blessing simply because i forgot there are people who are not employed today because their helpers forgot they forgot where they kept their cvs are we together now there are three stories in the bible that are very interesting they are testaments of the mystery of remembrance and how the saints can tap into this as one of the mysteries that cause them to command dominion and very quickly we're going to look at it remember this is a prayer meeting story number one Genesis chapter 41 I'll run through the story very quickly the Bible tells us that Joseph when you begin to read from chapter 39 then chapter 40 the Bible lets us know that Joseph now from Potiphar's house on account of an accusation remember what relocated him was an accusation 
Potiphar's wife lied that he raped her and then they relocated him to a dungeon, a prison and left him there. And then the Bible says one morning that Joseph, watch this, Joseph noticed the countenance. There were many other people in the prison but two were worthy of note, the buckler and the wine presser. The Bible says they all used to serve the king and for whatsoever reason they annoyed him and he threw them into the dungeon. And so they were there with Joseph. And then the Bible records that Joseph on seeing them, he called for their attention and then they communicated dreams they had heard. And Joseph said, tell me the dream and I'll help you. Let's see what can happen. And then the butler brought his own dream and then the wine presser started first and the interpretation of his dream was in three days the king the pharaoh of egypt will call you out of the dungeon and you will be restored back to the palace where you will serve the butler was impressed at this news and said i also dreamt and he said okay tell me your own dream i was holding three baskets upon my head full of bread he said and suddenly the ravens came and ate of the bread and joseph said oh dear this is what it means in three days you will also go out of here but the only issue is that when you are out of here you will be hung and the birds will eat your flesh so he was done and then he quickly told the wine presser please when you go to pharaoh do not forget remember me tell pharaoh now that you are with me in the prison we don't lie in the prison there's no point lying you are already there prison is where they tell the truth a lie is told so you will not go there but once you are there you see that so at least we've been able to discuss as co-prisoners you know the truth now please go to pharaoh and use the opportunity you have and tell him that there is a man who is who has been unjustly accused and whose destiny has been unjustly tied i can imagine the one press i say no problem god bless you when i go back the first thing i will do is to tell i must make reference to the person who prophesied to me it's amazing how good things can make you forget where you came from and can make you forget that you need to help others too this is man for you are we together now i i can imagine them hugging themselves loving themselves blessing themselves and saying look i'm not sure you'll stay more than one week in this prison again now that i'm out by evening just imagine in the prison that we're discussing your issue and joseph will say thank you but the bible i love the bible the bible says that when he was reinstated it noted that the man forgot joseph joseph remained in the prison for two years because one man's memory went bad please understand the implication of this not because his skill went down not because god was no longer with him the memory of his helper could no longer capture the need to help him and the man was there full of grace full of gifts full of potentials full of prophecy full of dreams but at the mercy of one man's memory are we together now then the bible says when god was now ready to remember by himself genesis 41 let's start from there i've saved the long reading of chapter 39 and 40 genesis 41 let's start from verse 1 and it came to pass at the end of what two full years take note of that information two full years that pharaoh dreamed and behold he stood by a river verse 2 and behold there came up out of this this and that and that jump to verse 9 let's save time verse 9 now remember let me just save us the stress he gathered everybody the sorcerers and everyone and said i have dreamed a dream that has troubled me the pharaoh speaking now 
and he attempted to get those who would interpret for him and they could not interpret and then the bible says verse 9 then spake the chief butler unto pharaoh saying i do remember i do remember my faults this day next verse pharaoh was wrought with his servants and put me in word in the captain of the guard's house both me and the chief baker and we dreamed a dream in one night i and he and we dream each man according to the interpretation of his dream read on and there was with us a young man was he not supposed to say this earlier but because he could not remember two full years were added to a man's experience and now by the mercy of god look how effortless he's remembering everything that means the information was still in his memory something stopped it from coming to light follow me please it does not look like this man forgot the story so why could he not remember look how articulate he is in stating everything remember his brother was now two years old in the grave he had died and he still remembered everything he says there was this young man an hebrew servant to the captain of the guard and we told him and he interpreted to us our dreams to each man according to his dream did he interpret 3 13 and it came to pass as he interpreted to us so it was me he restored unto mine office and him he hanged 14 hallelujah 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 the power of remembrance then only after remembrance then pharaoh sent and called joseph and they brought him hastily hastily that means speed was a possibility in his life but just because the memory of the benevolence what he did could not be remembered this man remained in the dungeon and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto pharaoh now when you begin to read the remaining parts after interpreting the dream at that moment joseph is reinstated and not only reinstated promoted to get to a point where he became the prime minister of egypt and pharaoh made a declaration that only in the throne would joseph be lower than him now remember that everything in scripture is a type of christ and the church are we together number two everything in scripture is prophecy the bible says the things that were written are for time they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope are we together now yes so joseph is put on that throne and then they bring him an egyptian wife are we together now the daughter of potiphar the bible says the priest of own and she became his wife and they too became the rulers of egypt and under their leadership egypt began to thrive and excel even in the times of famine now notice everyone who came to buy grain to survive only did that because one man remembered look at the miracles that were associated with remembrance the reinstating of a man the fulfillment of a prophecy the saving of a nation and the then world from famine for seven years were at the mercy of one man's memory everybody say the book of remembrance if one man's memory can produce that kind of boomerang effect one man just remembering and the king fetches him from a dungeon and he becomes a representation of god's purposes within his day then it means there is something we need to know about the power of remembrance number two in isaiah chapter 38 please give it to us verse one the bible talks about a man called hezekiah are we together now in those days verse one please look up hezekiah was sick 
unto death. Everybody say unto death. That means that something was about to end in his life. And the Bible says, Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him and said, Thus saith the Lord. Now when God is speaking, and, and I hope you know that Isaiah was not a fake prophet. Isaiah was a genuine prophet. Thus saith the Lord, set your house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Who is speaking? God is speaking through a mouthpiece called Isaiah and saying, Hezekiah, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you are not going to recover. You will die. And Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord. Let's see the contents of Hezekiah's prayer. Ready? And he said, everybody, remember now. Remember when? I remember my wrong this day. That's what the butler said. Remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before you. Go to the archives and check. God of heaven, I know there is a verdict upon me now, but I place a demand on the mystery of remembrance. Remember that you are a just God. Righteousness and justice are the foundations. I'm, I've become a lawyer at the point of death. I need to plead a case and I'm using the remembrance. He says, I have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart and I have done that which is good in your sight. Is it not written that if they obey and serve me, they will spend their years in prosperity? Is that true? Now, Isaiah is bringing before God. He said, Lord, I know you are God, but something is wrong with this verdict. I know that you can remember there are archives, testaments of my uprightness before you. And I bring it before you. And I plead, although you are God, remember. Next verse. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah again. So the Bible is showing us how God remembers. Now watch this. He's praying. Remember the content of his prayer. Remember. The Bible is showing us how God remembers. That when God remembers a thing or a person, this is how he acts. Verse 4 again, please. Let's go back to verse 4 so that we understand what we are doing. Then the word of the Lord came to Isaiah saying, next verse. Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard your prayer of remembrance. I have seen your tears. Behold, I will add to thy days 15 years. Verse 6. And I will deliver thee and this city out of the king of Assyria. And I will defend this city. And then you will read on, he used the sun as a sign to go back 15 degrees. So that he would know the certainty of the things that were spoken. Everybody say remembrance. If you knew Isaiah and Isaiah died, you say, oh dear. I mean Hezekiah. Hezekiah, you have gone. But Hezekiah refused to die. And Hezekiah used remembrance to insist that oh god remember i have walked uprightly before you and the bible says god remembered he turned his situation around the last story is a prayer meeting Harush <laughs> ah. story story once upon a time there was a king called Ahasuerus and that king the Bible records that he was Lord over 127 provinces then the Bible lets us know that he was married to a woman called Vashti and that the king would usually as they did in those days flaunt their glory including their wives are we together and it was time to bring Vashti to the scene and Vashti refused and I hope you know that what Vashti did was not really it was an offense but it was not that bad it was because she was in a position that she had the power to influence other women if the king 
Ahasuerus was not a king, an ordinary man, the suggestion would be counseling. Counsel them and say, that's all right. You are not the first. Just make sure you don't act like a stupid woman tomorrow. But because she was in a position, the king was such a nice man, he didn't want to act. But his advisors came and said, no, 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 no. These people are models. That means not every offense carries the same gravity at every level. You will do tomorrow what you did today and the consequence may be more. Are you seeing that now? And then the Bible says, Vashti is banished. Then the scene changes. And the king calls for young virgins to come all within the province. And then the Bible says in Shushan, there was a little village girl called Hadassah. Are we together? Yes. The, she was the niece of Mordecai, one who sat at the gate. Now, please follow my story. Then the Bible says a time came when certain people were conniving to the throne Ahasuerus. And Mordecai heard that information and he took it to the king and told the king that this and that such and such is to happen and they apprehended the people and justice was administered then the bible says it was recorded and left are we together now yes so cut the long story short esther becomes queen but in that same palace the right hand man of the king who was a friend to vashti obviously are we together now by the name Haman the Bible says that this man was antagonistic to the purposes of God he hated the Jews I believe had they left Haman for long enough one day he would have implicated Esther herself because his plan the Bible says was to annihilate the Jews one by one he would first focus on the ones outside the palace and then deal with the ones within the palace so her man was making life very difficult are we together now and then every other thing that happens is the hand of god and how he delivers people but now let's go very quickly to esther chapter 6. on that night look up please on that night could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king i hope you know that the book of esther again is a type of our relationship with the christ esther being his bride the church mordecai being the holy spirit are we together now her man being satan the accuser of the brethren who once had access to the throne who was now banished are you getting the point now esther being queen king ahasuerus being the father now understand all of these stories the bible says that on that night could not the king sleep was it not in your bible that you should give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem are we together now so the bible says that they were read before the king next verse and it was found written that mordecai had told of bithana and teresh two of the king's chamberlains the keepers of the door who sought to lay hand on king ahasuerus verse 3 and the king said what honor and dignity hath been done not will be done that means under normal circumstances this man should not be in this situation after communicating that level of benevolence what had been done to this man mordecai for this then said the king's servants that ministered unto him there is nothing done for him there is nothing done for him the company runs by your intelligence but there is nothing done for him the lives and the destiny saved through your love for god but nothing done for him next verse and the king said who is in the court now her man was coming to the king the outward court of the king's house 
to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai. Look at this, this, this wicked Luciferian type of attitude. That means if the book of remembrance were not open for three more days, Mordecai would have died. Remember, it coincided with when you wanted to get the permission to finally finish him. Ah, it's good to be remembered on time. It's good to be remembered on time. Now, here is a man. I'm sure the man had discussed with his wife. We will hang that man today. But that same time, quarter to shame, may God arise for someone. In the name of Jesus Christ. Just when the desire of the wicked seems to find expression by the intelligence of God and by the mystery of remembrance, may God raise help in the name of Jesus Christ. Follow my story. Haman was in the outward court of the king's house to speak to the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. The guy had dug the gallows. I'm sure in his mind he had imagined how Mordecai would die. Rejoice not over me, my enemies. God can remember. Next verse. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, her man standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. Let's read on. Look up, please. So her man came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor? When God is ready to lift you. Now, notice, when he was talking to the chamberlains, he said, what shall be done to Mordecai? But when Haman now came, if he said, what should be done to Mordecai? He said, uh -uh, what will be done to the man whom the king honored? I hope you know this same mystery was used to conceal Jesus. When the Pharisees came and said, are you the Christ? Who are you? John said, I am the voice of one crying. That means I will not tell you I'm Elijah that will forerun the coming of the Lord. Are we together now? Jesus Christ, that concealing continued to happen until the father finally declared, this is my beloved son. So now Mordecai is hidden as the man who the king wants to honor. Now her man thought in his heart, watch this. To whom will the king delight to honor more than to myself? So his selfishness was about to propose a fantastic idea to his peril. He makes diviners mad that God can turn their reasoning backward so that they will not perform their enterprise. And Haman answered the king, for the man whom the king delighted to honor, comma, let the royal apparel be brought before the king before which the king used it to wear. That means her man had even been eyeing Hazarus himself. Are you seeing it now? Yeah. You are told to honor a man. And you say, king, you have many robes. There's one that you wear. Let it be done to that man. When you start wearing the king's clothes, you are shifting closer to the throne. My God, and the horse that the king rideth upon, does that sound like Satan to you? I will be like the most high, I will arise above the stars of God. The same spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience, it says, and the crown royal which is set upon his head, verse 9. And let this apparel and the horse be delivered to the hand of, of one of the king's most noble princes that they array the man without whom the king delighted to honor. Listen, and bring him on horseback through the streets of the city and proclaim before him, thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Full stop. What a wicked man. Because he thought about himself. And listen, 
that opportunity only allowed his lost and imagination everything he had imagined to happen by all means now he had the chance and he said king this is what should be done to that man next verse hallelujah ah. then the king said to her man make haste and take the apparel and the horse that thou hast said and do even so to joshua selman There is a strong anointing on what I share with you. That seated at the king's gate, let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken. Nothing. Next verse. Then took Haman the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him before the horseback through the street of the city. And Haman was dragging Mordecai. Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Next verse. And Mordecai came again to the king's gate now notice this let me explain to you what this means look up after all that clamor when Mordecai was done he returned back to the gate and sat there will you climb the king's horse with his apparel and not go to the throne and sit down Mordecai said I will stay where I was lifted there was a place I stayed even though I am rising I will not forget that it was my service at the gate that caused remembrance to come. Can you wear the king's robe, ride the king's horse, and still remain where the king kept you? The king had not promoted him. The king gave an instruction. I'm sure while Mordecai was on that horse, he was saying, don't be carried away. You are not yet in the palace you will go there but you are not yet there and he came down imagine the entire crowd say Mordecai I'm sure you are the assistant now and he says watch me let me return back to the place from whence that grace found me I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Your glorious majesty. Someone be Mordecai tonight. Hey. Listen, this right here is how great men fall. When they are tested with power, when they are tested with lifting, when they are tested with the anointing, when God begins to lift you and sudden lifting come overnight, chances are that you will forget. Deuteronomy chapter 8, don't turn there. It says, let it not be that when you have built houses, when you have done all these things, you will say, my power and my might has gotten this. He said, but thou shall remember. Listen, it's not only God alone that has a book of remembrance. 
men must have books of remembrance when david stood before goliath he said the god who delivered me i remember what happened the god who delivered me from the bear delivered me from the lion today he would deliver me from this uncircumcised philistine bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless the lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits forget not forget not that he took you from nothing forget not that there were 10 of you in your family and you are the first to rise now forget not that it was you you started rising before you knew anything about favor forget not let's just stay here and let me teach you something very powerful my brothers and my sisters a man who can remember is a man who can be sustained a man who can remember the faithfulness of god remember where you were yesterday remember the hand that lifted you that is the man that will never go down pastors forget businessmen forget years ago i remember i watched a nigerian film of a village girl who was loved by a wealthy man i don't know the name of the film i don't even know who acted it are we together now and he picked this village girl i think she was selling something granite or so, you know the way they do nigerian films and he saw her and liked her and picked her his parents insulted him he said kill me i would marry this village girl and then like 11 years or so down the line she had become the wife of this man and there was another village girl who was a house help in that house and this one's village girl ill-treated this woman ill-treated the young girl until one time i think she got blind or paralyzed or something and when she was paralyzed it was the small girl that stayed with her in the hospital and then a pastor came to pray for her for uh, uh, healing or something and then she began to remember that all of this and that and that then the long and short of the nigerian film is that she later discovered that that girl was her sister the little girl i think the, maybe the mother had the child somewhere also that was a sister that she was ill-treating let me tell you this the bliss of the palace made the butler to forget the bliss of greatness the applause of men you know most people sit down and say what is there in fame what? no 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 there is a reason why remembrance is necessary you want sustainable anointing you want sustainable impact please learn to remember you need to have a book of remembrance that is in the similitude of that which is on the throne i remember that 10 years ago when i was nothing this gentleman came I remember when I was soaking Gary, for instance, you would say, I remember. So that you don't see him 10 years later and push him. No. There are mistakes you make when you are outside of the palace. It does not matter. If you make those mistakes in the palace, you will pay for it. First, he could make any mistake outside the palace and go scot free. But now, this mistake on the throne would cost her so much. thou shalt remember the lord thy god thou shalt remember many have forgotten their fathers many have forgotten their mothers many have forgotten those who played all kinds of roles in their lives many have forgotten the god that lifted them many have forgotten the hand that helped them please listen to what i'm telling you god is speaking to someone here that a man can rise so high that the scar of yesterday's pain can so erode from your life and your mind it will never look like you were there it will never look like you ever climbed a bike in your life 
it will it will never look like you soaked gary i know sometimes we are excellent people but sometimes we allow the deception of success to so swallow us that we lose the ability to forget i have learned as a personal principle that modesty is the closest way to remember when you live a life that is modest temperate the bible calls it that he that strives for mastery is temperate that means define boundaries it was a mistake solomon made he refused to be temperate by the time we get to ecclesiastes solomon was a man who was utterly lawless and careless see let me tell you this i believe in prosperity i believe in all the blessings of god but look at me believers there is only so much cloth you can wear there is only so much food you can eat are we together now this is all the stomach you have another one will not come from anywhere thank god for all the cars you will have you will not remove one leg and put it in one jeep and remove your head and put it in another car the way we approach success if not guided by these mysteries many people will fall by the wayside this is why you find out uh, respectfully speaking this is true for men of god is true for business people is true for politicians they begin to rise and when the whole world is watching suddenly they vanish out of thin air the mistake of haman and the wisdom of mordecai are two lessons we must learn Mordecai rides on a horse, the king's horse. That honor is an honor that I don't think even the queen had. And when Mordecai dropped, he said, thank you, Haman. He returned back to the king's gate. That's where they found him. Was it not on your knees the anointing found you? Have you returned back? <laughs> Was it not in the place of fasting and prayer that grace met you? Was it not in the place of dedication where you will roll like this, my dear brother that was rolling left and right? I'm sure for some of you that was so embarrassing. This guy is falling his hand. So our, our deceptive approach to life tells us. Listen, if you were lifted on your knees, remain on your knees. If you were lifted while singing his praise, remain singing his praise. It's very uncomfortable to remain on your knees when the world is watching you. It's embarrassing. You are not that naive. You should stand so you can shine. Apostle Joshua Selman, the man of God, anointed. But when you remember that if God forgets you, anything can happen to you when god forgets you anything can happen it's a lesson we're still going to move on but i need you to get this listen i have shared this for years and told people be careful i have warned many people in my life and said if if you don't pay attention with the way you are managing success you will fall by the wayside it was not prophecy some of them thought it was nonsense nonsense and today sadly speaking many of them have gone down as if it was not god that lifted them do you know the higher you rise the more slippery the path is a day can come when you will even be ashamed to roll before God why will I roll my designers on the ground in the presence of kings and in the presence of nobles this was the mistake that Saul's daughter made that made her remain barren when David it was time to take the ark David danced and danced and rejoiced like a fool and the daughter of Saul said, King, you are no longer a shepherd. You are carrying a stupid bush mindset. You want to embarrass yourself. You are no longer, a, you are a king. Act like royalty. And he said, I'm dancing before God who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me. And the Bible says, God had that conversation. When God had that conversation, no matter what would have happened, she wouldn't have given birth. Because... 
and indignation rose. I continue to tell God, I say, Lord, I remain your boy. Huh? I am other people's father. I am other people's mentor. I am other people's role model. Thank God for that. But I remain your boy. You will always meet me where you found me. Adam, where are you? I heard thy voice, but I hid because I was naked. He said, her man, let's continue, sit please. Her man hasted to his house, mourning, crying, and having his head covered. Next verse. And her man told Zeresh, his wife, and all his friends, everything that had befallen him, and said, his wise men and Zeret, listen, then said his wise men and Zeresh, his wife, unto him, if Mordecai be the seed of the Jews before whom thou hast begun to fall, thou shalt not prevail against him, but shall surely fall before him. That means this mistake you have made, Mordecai is the seed of the Jews. There are commandments that have been given the Jews to not forget. If Mordecai is a true Jew and will remember those ordinances, you are finished. Because the factors that should make him fall and give way will not happen again. Your doom is true. Look at this. Mordecai, once at the gate. Now, I, I want to save us time because you read later on, you'll find out that her man was hung at the gallows. All kinds of things began to happen in his life. Culminated by Esther's declaring to the king that this man wanted to destroy her people. And the king went to his garden to think like any wise leader would do. To not be hasty in speech. And then he came and knelt down and was begging her. And when the king came, it looked like he was trying to rape the wife. And the king said, not only have you annoyed me, you are now trying to rape my wife. Go and hang this guy. The gallows was there, waiting for them. And they hung him there. And that was the end of it. And then eventually, Mordecai was honored to take the place of Haman in the palace. And that ends the story of Esther. Listen carefully. There are two women only in scripture whose names became the books of the bible and their names were written there so that we will remember what they did the two names ruth and esther were put in the bible the two women did the same thing notice that in all cases it had to do with men it had to do with marriage and it had to do with the power of submission the power of loyalty the power of not trivializing the things that god can do and the remembrance that follows ruth remembered her mother-in-law and said i'm not leaving you your god will be my god your people will be my people and because she stayed and remembered how this woman was nice to her as a mother-in-law she led her and advised her to a field of a wealthy man called Boaz. Are we together now? Yes. And Boaz saw her and loved her and took her. I hope it, it's very interesting because for Esther, she had never married. But for Ruth, she lost her husband. And now an opportunity was coming again. Remembrance. The book of remembrance that archives the works of the saints and that there is a reward system attached to it and that once you can invoke the mystery that will make god remember now take note he's not remembering because he's forgotten he's remembering because it is part of the ordinances of heaven for administering justice remembrance let me show you a scripture i found that really really changed my life and then i'll give you two keys and we'll pray never forget this scripture for the rest of your life nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 14. please read with me everyone is projected if you can see nehemiah chapter 13 
and verse 14 one to read remember me oh my god concerning this stop 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 that means you can take any matter to god and provoke remembrance concerning this you can put your this there concerning my finances concerning my family situation concerning my joblessness concerning the tragedy happening you can go before god and say remember me oh my god concerning this and wipe not my good deeds that i have done for the house of my god and for the offices thereof when the lord showed me this scripture i remember crying like a baby i said this is powerful lord do not wipe these good deeds with all humility you can go before god lord i have served lord i am a faithful worker i stand before god it is true that i clean the seats lord i stand before you that you can go concerning this this is how to petition the parliament of heaven remember concerning this and all that i have done do not wipe it out for the house of the lord and for the offices thereof so god remembers and every time god remembers god acts please look at me my dad is such an amazing man quite a very very amazing man one thing i learned from my dad that i thank god for he's still alive i truly thank god for is that my dad was an extremely grateful man my dad paid attention i saw this growing up if you did something striking my dad would make a big deal out of it and will continue to raise a memorial over that act one time they were traveling to the village and it was in the night i don't know what took them there it was really late and the car broke down i think it was raining and there was they asked around and there was a mechanic now they were more than halfway the journey almost in the middle of nowhere and the mechanic was brought and he had to look at the car and the mechanic not only looked at the car i think i hope i'm right he followed them right to the village so that if anything happened he would be there do you know from that time until i left home every time my dad were traveling he would buy potato or buy something and stop at that house and say where is this man this was even it was it was more than 10 years down the line he was still doing it remembrance remembrance there are people today who are not supposed to be sitting with kings but are sitting because the kings remember their fathers remember their mothers you said you are the son of who that man let me tell you a little story in 1961 i was a young boy from the village with a torn trouser when your father gave me a cup of water the cup of water that was what 10 naira is now what a great destiny because of remembrance when god remembers you you are lifted when men remember you you are lifted you need the book of remembrance to be open where would i be if you left me now where would i be if you left me now where would i be you wait thank you jesus do you know let me tell you in my personal walk with god there are things that god has done in my life even to this day he continues to do them and most times when i go before him to say thank you he will remind me 
of a particular kingdom not necessarily a sacrifice he will tell me that this that happened do you know there are families before i finish my story there are families that will never go down do you know why because they didn't have all the money but they left a little room for missionaries they left a little space and every man of god will come you would think the people are in ministry their job is to cook and you would think those things will be forgotten but there is a book in the heavenlies where these things are recorded and you will see the child would come many years later sometimes the child may not even be serious with god but for that covenant of remembrance god will come and visit the children remembrance i once watched the documentary of fiji island the revival that happened in fiji island and it was said that the missionaries the early missionaries who got there that the people oppressed them and killed them or butchered them or did something very tragic and then they died the moment they died is a documentary i think you can find it somewhere the fish in the sea stopped producing fish the land stopped producing at its maximum it wasn't even producing the nation literally plunged to depression until some intercessors began to pray they began to pray and to pray and to pray and then the lord revealed to them that there is an indignation that is rising over that territory and that they needed to plead the blood it would take the blood of the eternal covenant to solve this problem and then they had time to pray repent on behalf of the nation and then in addition fortunately they found the grandchildren of the missionaries that they had killed the grandchildren and they invited them to fiji island and they performed a ceremony officially apologizing loving them and they prayed and blessed the land just like child's play within a short time i don't know what time frame exactly strangely they saw fish in the sea and sea of fish that they had not seen the first crusade that we had as a ministry the first crusade it was in plateau state i remember one of the the people who was guiding us the tour guide he took us to the graves of the missionaries and showed us the missionaries that were killed when they brought the gospel to that land and showed us the missionaries and showed us everything and that from that time that they killed the people all kinds of things had been happening in the land and i remember standing there to pray and we said lord the lord is gracious and compassionate the bible says he's slow to anger and rich in love we stood there and said we are also missionaries and in the name of jesus christ we stand by the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of any abel there and to speak and say in the name of jesus that the land be released i tell the truth and i lie not we were somewhere standing and we were watching a hill and all of a sudden physical dark shadow like every boy you could record it we just began to see it slowly moving out of the land it took almost 45 minutes so it was not something you would rush like that just moving corporately out of the land where i schooled secondary school there used to be a tree the tree i'm not exaggerating the tree was dried but all the leaves were on it they tied ropes around the tree and you would ask and they would tell you there was a story that the tree was cursed there was a story that happened around there cursed as a memorial over the land why would god tell the nation of israel raise a memorial in this place and teach your children that means they should not forget if they ask you why do you do this teach them that this is why we do this so that you will know this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate keep it keep it my son he says pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings he says do not let them depart depart from your mouth keep them in the midst of your heart then he says they are alive to those who find them and health to their flesh as a man i've had people in my life who i almost cannot reject helping and lifting because they the the power of remembrance 
they will always remember and make reference and say apostle thank you you did so 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 and so to me you did so 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 and so to my family and they remind me of god and i'm compelled every time even when they don't ask me anything it's like their remembrance of that is is a debt that that i must pay i am moved to wanting to help them again many have forgotten like Haman. I want to employ the wisdom of Mordecai that you never forget where he brought you from. Are we together? That there is remembrance. Now, let me teach you before we pray very quickly two keys. Two keys that open the book of remembrance over a man. There are two scriptures that will reveal these keys and then we'll pray. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9. This is the first key that you will need to open the book of remembrance over yourself, over your family, over your territory. Let's read together. One, two, go. And let us not be weary in well-doing. Uh -huh. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not watch this the first key that opens the book of remembrance is consistency of your well-doing regardless of reward regardless of who sees you regardless of whatever commendation comes or does not come consistency weariness is something that can catch up with you when your value is not being appreciated when your impute is not being noticed are we together now we're humans and if you continue to strive to contribute in the life of a man a ministry an organization a system and it looks like you are not noticed and you are not rewarded the side effect is weariness and the bible says let us not be weary that means that your reward is tied to your consistency this country is full of stories of people who deserve to be rewarded politically spiritually are we together financially in business in ministry but for many years they had all kinds of hamans around their lives around their offices yet the people continue to be steadfast Many of our loved ones have situations where they were qualified to be the ones sitting at certain positions. But manipulations happened and yet they continued being consistent. The Bible says if you are consistent, if you are steadfast, if you are unbending in well-doing, the Bible gives you a guarantee that a season, according to the law of times and seasons, the law of time and chance, because it happened to them all. The Bible says one day, like the hand of a clock, it must come to your turn and you must find expression. This is true. This is true. I met a precious lady yesterday, one, one dear lady, I used to know her that should be 2004 2005 in the campus here she used to sing in one of the fellowships wonderful lady she would sing her heart out dance and celebrate God everyone wanted to attend the fellowship just because I mean the lady would lead worship with all she was always smiling always happy and then I had the opportunity to see her yesterday and I saw her, she was happy, now a mother of many children. And I looked at her, and then she brought me her album and said, Apostle, I remember those days. And I said, oh dear, who told you God does not remember? Who told you God forgets the sacrifices of the saints? There are things you are doing today, you are already securing tomorrow with it. A day will come, you will watch the video of this level of koinonia, and tears will come out of your eyes. You say, that was me cleaning the chairs that was me playing the keyboard and someone stands to say you are not supposed to be where you are and god says it's too late your consistency imagine if mordecai got tired and said look i'm tired of bailing the king out 
and then her man would be receiving the glory Mordecai was consistent even when he rode upon the king's back he returned to stay where he was found everybody say consistency listen this is an encouragement to someone right now the worship team got it powerfully what's that song again you are not turning back where's Tosin? not turning back and not going just sing that part for me I'm gonna wait on you Jesus 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 yeah, that's the song I'm gonna I'm wait on back now I'm not turning back now I'm not turning back now I'm not turning back now one more time. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. 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 And I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. listen let me teach you something impatience will always give birth to what will fight your promise you must sustain the stamina to stay let God meet you where he last instructed you Lord I will continue Kai. another woman who showed us the power of waiting was Anna the prophetess the Bible says for about 60 years from the time she lost her husband listen carefully for about 60 years she was in the temple do you know what it means to pray without results for 60 years Abraham did it for 25 years hey my soul wait thou upon the Lord there is power in waiting there is power in staying there is power in remaining i keep sowing i don't see the heavens open but i will continue sowing i keep speaking i may not see the result but i will never stop speaking i will keep serving i may not see the result but i will keep serving I will hold on to the word men may mock me they may call you stupid you are wasting your time where is the consolation when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter and they testified among the hidden that the Lord had done great things for us it says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. The Bible says, they that sow in tears. Listen, Koinonia, it is possible to sow in tears. And the Bible says, in due season, John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing. Hear me. Listen to me. You must conquer the pressure that men will bring to you. They will push you into seasons that are not yet God's design. They will push you into things that are not yet God's design. Mordecai, can you remain in the palace? Can you stay at the gates? Mordecai looked at Haman and knew that Haman was occupying his position. But the battle is the Lord's. He remained at the gate. If Haman tried to fight Mordecai, Mordecai would kill him because Mordecai, her man was the king's friend. Can I tell you this, my brothers and my sisters? It will not always look like this. Let me speak to you. It will not always be that you will go home every night and wonder, what do I eat? No, no. The Bible says, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. Man of God, it will not always be that you go to a meeting and the power of God will not be there. No, you, you are in a season. Stay, stay, I'm prophesying to you. You are in a season. Build stamina and stay. A day will come when the glory of God will mantle you. Stay while you learn. Jesus, 
you are savior not at age 12 you are savior not at age 18 jesus you are savior not at 30 you are only savior at 33 the 18 year old jesus would not save the world joseph you are a deliverer but not in the pit please listen to what i teach you tonight these are secrets of the kingdom my soul wait so the first key that causes the book of remembrance to be open the book of remembrance in heaven and the book of remembrance before men is consistency keep praying you look like a fool but keep praying bros you are still here five years you are not making progress your colleagues have started ministry stay there stay there stay there stay there while you pray listen let me tell you one of the most powerful virtues of the spirit is self-control many of the gifts of the spirit are tied to it why should i keep quiet when i can prophesy why should i not talk when i can preach there are people in this ministry that i love so much scattered in and around they are mighty men in the spirit in ministry some of them are mighty business people in this ministry multi-millionaires you will never see any pressure to be known any pressure to be seen they come and sit down they serve god they worship god yet they are mighty prophets they are mighty apostles let me tell you something when you see a man that has self-control respect such a man it is powerful to have what to say and keep quiet it is powerful to know what to do and still remain it is powerful to see a door that is open and yet not move if the door is closed it's not a proof of your stamina the door is closed but can you stand before an open door and yet not move hallelujah this is very powerful i've had the opportunity to meet a lot of great people in my life and sometimes when people want to tell me who and who i'm going to meet they'll say ah, apostle this man is a great man or maybe he's an influential man politically or he's a great man financially or spiritually and apostle ah these people have this and that and i stand before the lord god of heaven and i lie not i have never been under pressure to tell anybody sorry sir can you help me and buy recharge card uh I, there is a ministry called koinonia if the ministry is blessing you can you send 10 naira no no consistency god is ministering to someone now because you see let me tell you this there are many of you that coming to koinonia is even an embarrassment to you because by the time you come they look at you and say for five years no car no nothing the only thing you do is to pray like a fool the only thing you do is to loiter around and sometimes you can feel stupid for being consistent i give you a scripture you are already opening a door stay there till the door opens you see the thing about god is that five minutes to your lifting it will still not be like it five minutes to your rising joseph you are still in the prison while the person has left the palace and is coming to you already you are not seeing him oh israel when god is already winning the battle you don't have to fight but you are not seeing just believe in what jehoshaphat is saying hallelujah consistency i will pray as before i will fast as before i will worship as before listen never be ashamed of your today you will miss it tomorrow receive the grace and the stamina to stay let people laugh at you let people mock you especially for our dear ladies because society has all kinds of pressures on ladies show us your husband is he a rich man show us this show us that have you traveled to um um, um asia america london uk and you stand there feeling stupid for loving the lord 
let us not be weary in well-doing there are preachers that need to stay lord what should i do now should i start a church or should i stay and god says just keep doing what you are doing in due season we shall reap can i tell you this the season of reward for a man's life is a fearful dimension of that man's life for reasons you cannot tell and explain you will see that god will command the territory to begin to sing your songs and to speak your purposes david was going to be king but for a very long time he was in the wilderness he killed a lion but remained in the wilderness he killed a bear if that news got to Saul, they would have called him to serve in the palace, but he would never be king. Sometimes don't be quick to announce your achievements. Let God and time reveal it. Just come. kill the bear, but remain quiet in the wilderness. This itch to talk sometimes is proof of weakness. You sabotage where you are going. Did the Bible not already tell you that you cannot light a lamp and hide it under a bushel? Waiting is very hard. It's proof of spiritual maturity to wait until seasons come. Hallelujah. I've shared with you my story for many years in this ministry. God would not allow me buy a car. Even when Koinonia was on, crowds of people here, I would climb a bike and come for Koinonia. You would think I were a stupid person. It was not lack of finances just like that lord why do you want to humiliate me i love you so much why won't you leave me to buy a car then people started bringing cars to give me and god would tell me to just bless them and let them go if i were your relative would you clap for me for that kind of brain you would just be careful what you call common sense it has destroyed many people the way of the spirit is very strange I will never forget one time a man came to sit in front of me and said this is what God gave him he was going to bring me car keys and he carried the keys of the car and I was already smiling when he came again mm -mm. he said this man has not discussed with his wife his wife would join the people who would talk about you and say you have manipulated the husband I appreciated the man prayed for him with all my heart and told him to carry the car and go you see that Will I ever have a need of a car today? No. Never, ever, forever. Listen, waiting pays. When God wants to pay you, He will backdate it. Press down, shaken together to make room for more. Fill it till it runs over. sustain the stamina to wait shut your mouth and your ears against the things that people say and all the rubbish and the nonsense that you will hear people say you are on your way to a dimension of grace he's training you he's teaching you listen you can stay with god you are lifting people out of the wheelchair and god will tell you not to honor one invitation sit down lord as what be a brother in welfare not even prayer band not even any place lord at least let me go to prayer department he says welfare is where i need you but lord are you aware i'm a prophet and you, i will be a prophet to the nations he will say cook let me teach you how to feed men and you are there turning food and somebody says do you ever have the ambition of being a chef and you almost want to want to slap the person and say are you do i look like a chef and God says, turn it. I teach you how to overturn. And you carry that cooler on your head. And you are marching. And someone says, ah, emoji. Was it not you that was in our house yesterday? He said, this. You mean, I thought you were a pastor. He said, no, I work in the welfare department. What kind of church is this? Is it that they don't see men of God in this church? And you feel stupid. You drop that cooler and say, no. God, this this lady, I she 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 saw me prophesy. God says, carry that cooler. Because it is while you are carrying that cooler, you are qualifying yourself. 
a day will come you will be able to carry any luggage and not be ashamed because you learned how to carry something embarrassing hallelujah i always tell people jokingly i didn't start ministry preaching let me tell you you've heard my story i started ministry playing keyboard for a reverend who were part of the, the it was a prison ministry they were part of the people who preached later on to general obas and joe when he was in prison they used to allow the mission agencies to go and preach they preached to him i used to play keyboard for them i had my local church and then later on he started a church when he started a church it was quite a distance from where i would live i would carry my own keyboard by myself this was 93 94 i would carry keyboard by myself and trek to the international hotel where he was using and drop it there i will play that keyboard they will finish share the grace i will carry it and trek back with joy the only thing i ever got throughout my time of serving in that ministry was one cassette and one bottle of fanta when they were dedicating his album i would have been offended and i would have been angry and say you don't know who i am the proof of sonship is servanthood if you can serve you are a son indeed let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus though he is god he considered it not robbery he came and humbled himself died even the death on the cross wherefore on the strength of that do you know that jesus was almost giving up at gethsemane as a man if it's possible let this cup pass over me i said nevertheless not my will but yours be done so this is the first key someone say i will continue better is the end of a thing the bible says than the beginning thereof it is not enough to start you must trust god for grace and listen my brothers and my sisters i admit to you that it is painful your humanity will catch up with you while you wait yes as a gentleman they will look at you and say i used to know you in 2000 you mean you are still here how much is this shoe you are buying which church did you say you are serving say now i've been promoted i'm a deacon he said deacon deacon indeed your useless life looking like your yesterday you have not changed and you stand there feeling stupid for serving god and god says continue i almost gave up Sam. and like i just couldn't take life anymore this is an encouragement for someone my, my problems held me bound depression weighed me down but god kept me so i wouldn't let go god's mercy kept me so i won't let go god can keep he can give strength to the faint whatever you have to do keep moving even if you cry cry but keep moving even if you feel discouraged keep moving insist that i will never stop if god has not stopped on me then i will not stop on myself i know he's called me to be a worshiper to the nations my first song they forgot it in two days you may be saying some of you put your songs online after three months only two people liked it no problem just continue some of you put your sermons online and you had only four comments and all of them were criticizing you go back to bible school someone wrote nonsense another person said look false prophet and he just said i will never go online again i will never preach this thing again no Reinhard Bonke said the first time he used to escort a man for crusade and that day the man told him God said he would not come back again Reinhard Bonke would be the person to preach and Reinhard Bonke said he was shaking he was saying Lord is this how you have chosen to embarrass me and 
he stood and began to preach and he began to minister to the sick and people started shouting blind eyes i can see deaf ears i can hear people were rising out of wheelchair please continue receive the grace to continue receive the grace to keep praying receive the grace to keep speaking hallelujah someone can come to your family and say kai this is your family you will never change you people are just like this keep declaring with my eyes will i see the salvation of the lord surely there is an end my tomorrow is better than my today i will one day be called beulah and hefziba i am the planting of the lord a well watered garden thou has caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through water and through fire but thou broughtest us into a wealthy place the lord is my light and salvation of whom shall i be afraid he won't stop he won't stop till my life looks like him he won't stop he won't stop till i look just like him i won't stop i won't stop till i look just like him i won't stop i won't stop till i look just like him please sit down key number two and then we'll pray the first key that can cause remembrance towards you before god and before men is to not be weary in well-doing continue rewarded or not continue commended or not continue understood or not continue number two isaiah 43 verse 26 thank you jesus isaiah 43 and verse 26 want to read koinonia put me in remembrance let us plead together declare thou that thou mayest be justified god is speaking put me lift up a cry from the earth to heaven and say lord remember put me in remembrance put me in remembrance are you ready for one powerful scripture you should add to your library if there are five scriptures in your library let this be there ah i found this scripture day before yesterday i was meditating it fired like an arrow from my head to my feet i blasted in tongues i said that's right you see the bible said the kingdom of god is like a man who lost his treasure and you find candle and boom you sweep it when you find that you rejoice numbers chapter 10 verse 9 numbers 10 verse 9 look up koinonia and read it with faith in your heart ready one to read and if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppress you then shall ye blow an alarm with the trumpets and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God. And ye shall be saved from your enemy. I now know what they did in before Jericho. That when you stand and your enemies overwhelm you. Lift up the trumpet. Is the power of praise. Oh, shall he scabber with us? Lift up that trumpet. The word is yada. Praise. Lifted with understanding. That when you see that you are encompassed by enemies and there is no way for victory. When you pray, in addition to that prayer, put God in remembrance. Then don't disturb him again. Lift up your trumpet and begin to blast it like the priest that you are go around your jericho while you blast the trumpet go around your jericho while you blast the trumpet and the bible says that sound that shofar will come before god as a memorial this is scripture 
See, let God be true and let every man be a liar. Hallelujah. Please take it higher for me. Look at this scripture. It says, You shall be remembered before the Lord when you lift up your trumpet. I just saw a trumpet. This is what I saw in the spirit like a sound, a shofar. Hey, 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 my Chetona, I got a can of Ogara, eh, eh, my Sorina, I got a can of Ogara, eh, Oh, I got a red and a I will never go. I got a red and I will never go. I got a red and I will never go. Let the people praise him. He says, then shall the earth yield for her increase. So the earth can yield when you stand before a barren land. He says, put me in remembrance. Then when you are done praying, all Paul and Silas, after you pray, sing. And let the mighty one that sits upon the throne come and rent the heavens. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it to it like the ark of Noah, and they are saved. Agarei Canada Okara. Listen, the Bible says, though the olive may not produce, they may not be fixed on the vine. He said, yet, yet I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will joy in the God of my salvation. My Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It says, though weeping and joys for a night, Koinonia, hear me, joy comes with the morning. Listen, there is one thing I know about God that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what the Lord has in store for them that love him. But the Bible says he has revealed them that when I praise him, when I lift up a cry and say, Lord, remember me concerning these when i'm done saying it i begin to sing and dance like a madman and sing my way to another level and dance my way to another dimension it does not make sense he said i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea hallelujah please hear me Do not trivialize what you have heard. 
do not trivialize this deep mystery your destiny helper has a book of remembrance men have books of remembrance listen there are things you have done for the kingdom some of you have served god some of you have prayed some of you have helped men some of you your parents lifted people and everybody has forgotten about you let me tell you what to do when there are men in your life who can help you and they forget about you don't go knocking their offices you are you are doing it the wrong way go to the god of all flesh the father of spirits raise a cry before him unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come lord i bring before you this petition i am a member of welfare department i am a member of prayer band i'm a member of worship team let god be true he says to lift up that incense and then begin to sing can you open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues pray in the spirit Koi noni a pray, man of God pray, businessman pray, kavya person pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please look at me. Esther chapter 6 verse 1. Please media help us quickly. Esther chapter 6 and verse 1. And on that night could not the king sleep the same way Nebuchadnezzar or Zedarius could not sleep because the three Hebrew boys, Daniel, was in the lion's den. Listen, I'd like you to pray in tongues for the next one minute. And listen, this should be your focus when you pray. Father, wake everyone sleeping who should be awake to remember me. Lift your voice and pray in the spirit. On that night, <laughs> then could not <laughs> the hallelujah hallelujah so number one the king had to wake up number two he commanded to bring the book of remembrance you are about to pray say after me in the name of jesus say father i stand by the blood and in the name of jesus and i declare tonight let the book of remembrance in heaven and on earth concerning me, concerning my reward, let it be open now. Lift your voice and pray. <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. Look up. Listen. The first time the Spirit of the Lord opened the book of Esther to me. The book of Esther as a book containing a mystery of favor was opened to me. It was a February of that year the entire month i prayed favor i prayed favor into my life i believed it with all my heart because i found it there that books can be opened hallelujah now listen favor is real please hear me don't sit down and waste your time and hate god for nothing favor is very very real hallelujah all blessings come from God through men to you from God through men to you when the book is opened in heaven the spirit opens the book and the bride also opens the book on earth it is the spirit and the bride that tells the word to come listen it is not difficult when the book is opened Ahasuerus said what should be done to a man who the king chooses to honor is a choice it's a choice god can choose to honor you jacob have i loved esau have i hated there is nothing that can be done when god's jealousy has been invested upon you listen to me believers in christ we are people who are beloved do you know what it means to be loved that means God has made himself vulnerable to you. Beloved, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, he said. And I have drawn you with my loving kindness. But that the book of remembrance be opened. I have seen these books opened. Even for me, I've sat down quietly and suddenly God brings to my mind the names of people. Not word of knowledge not word of knowledge god does not just tell me their names god connects something they had done to my life and i suddenly become indebted to them i just remember a woman had done something for me years ago very trivial thing i think it was towards the end of last year it just became a burden in my heart for no reason clear the school fees of the children help them with whatever you can do it was a burden the woman never she was not even in contact with me i didn't even have her details and i had to look for someone i said please can you help me access so so, so and so say yes i said please let me have her details and suddenly i looked at it and i said okay no problem madam can i help you this is what the lord is putting in my heart the woman said this is an answered prayer i've been crying i'm a widow i'm a widow 
see let me tell you don't go around harassing people to help you that's not the way it works everything works in the realm of the spirit stay and pray and declare and declare and sing and declare that the heavens open up its book that the seven seals be broken that it be opened weep not for the book is opened when the book is opened that remembrance suddenly someone will call you and say ah, i forgot you remember what happened to the butler i remember my wrong this day have you not blessed people in your life did you not win souls in your life have you not served the purposes of the kingdom hear me believers don't be ashamed of your service it is a memorial that can rise before god hezekiah turned his face to the wall and hezekiah cried and said remember oh god do not forget bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits lord you have said if i obey and i serve you i will spend my years in prosperity my days in joy you have said it and i serve you with all my heart let the blessings that follow service follow me it's a petition you are placing a demand like mordecai the bible does not record it but i believe that whilst mordecai sat at the gate he continued to speak and call upon the god of the hebrews avenge me my adversary her man is in the palace causing mayhem to me and to the people of the lord arise in your mercy listen there are things that can happen between you and god on account of your service that when the enemy raises an assault against your family against your life you can stand up with a counter petition lord remember remember when god is jealous towards you it has happened it has happened i'm telling you what i do myself and i'm sharing with you these secrets koinonia let me tell you this is october but if you believe the things i'm saying and the books are open you will be surprised at the unending you will come and testify here that someone who forgot you remembered you and said sorry is your father still alive is your ah. when joseph met with um benjamin and all the other brothers he asked them a question he said is your father still alive is everything well with you is this well with you fetch them and bring them to egypt they brought them they settled at goshen and they were prosperous until joseph died and joseph said when you go out of egypt carry my bones carry this principle carry this pattern with you don't lose it this is the structure it's an ordinance carry it together hallelujah there are things that God has done for others for the sake of others. There are things that God does for the saints for the sake of Jesus. There are things that can happen to Mephibosheth because he's connected to the house of Saul. Please hear me believers, we're rounding up. I truly want your life to experience the reality of God's grace I want you to touch these mysteries to experience them in a way and a manner that makes you exceptionally fruitful remember the Lord told us at the beginning of this year that I will make you exceeding fruitful he said it he said it and I believed him it's a year of extraordinary fruitfulness and now I show you the mystery of remembrance that a book can be opened you can call upon the God of heaven and say, Lord, remember, remember, remember. My father was a missionary. You can tell God he's gone to be with the Lord. But remember, he served you even at the point of death. Lord, this is not how you reward them that serve you. Suddenly the book is open. And God says, let me come and invest my favor upon this family for the sake of the sacrifice. It is not always about what you have done personally. 
you can take advantage of every good thing philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might become effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ you can take advantage of every good thing lord i'm in the worship team come i sing i sing i stand before your people and i sing lord when apostle is preaching i'm also standing sometimes i am tired but i'm standing remember oh god your service and the heavens open towards you and god comes to you son what should i do and you say oh god bless me give me wisdom give me favor and he opens up your heavens do not waste your yesterday many of you made good use of it use it as a memorial let it rise to heaven speak to him concerning every matter don't forget what i taught you don't forget the scripture that i taught you that you stand before god and say remember concerning this issue remember you can confront him concerning any issue bring your strong reason lord let the plague of death end in this family why should the plague of death end lord even if everybody served idols i stand as a breach i stand as a priest i have called upon the name of the lord and adam knew his wife again and she bore seth and men began to call upon the name of the lord i stand as a breach in my family hallelujah let me give you one prayer point last prayer point and then we are done i like you to pray and say lord every good thing that should come into my life as declared by your word as declared by scripture i declare that on account of this remembrance i receive it by faith let it come please lift your voice and pray i receive it by faith every good thing I taste it and every good thing. Ero Shabaka, every good thing. Paracataponsa, Emma Salakotari, Shekeropa, Shapataya, Ragabaka, he that did not spare his son. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I decree and I declare over your life in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I stand by the privilege of God's grace and I call upon our Father who is the God in heaven concerning you, concerning your family, concerning the issue of request. I agree with you. Let the book of remembrance be opened now. Let the book of remembrance be opened now. Let the book of remembrance that archives your faithfulness let the book of remembrance that archives your sacrifice let the book of remembrance that archives your consistency let the book of remembrance that records your diligence your unbendedness the service you have served in the house of God I stand before the God of all heavens and I declare let it be open now And I pray in Jesus' name that every Ahasuerus that sustains the influence, the wealth, the intellectual prowess, the access, 
to lift you and take you from the gates of your destiny into the palace i command let there be no sleep for them tonight in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i place an anointing upon you and in the name of jesus karus kabaratushia by that anointing i declare that as you walk the length and breadth of your territory your city everyone anointed and ordained to remember you for good i compel that the anointing will cause them to do so i bring your ministry before the god of heaven let it be remembered tonight i bring your family before the god of heaven let them be remembered tonight i bring your education before the god of heaven i command remembrance tonight i bring your finances before the god of heaven i provoke remembrance tonight i bring your marriage before the god of heaven i provoke remembrance tonight i bring your business before the god of heaven i provoke remembrance tonight I bring your destiny before the God of heaven. I provoke remembrance tonight. I even bring your past before the throne of heaven. And I declare remembrance for the sake of mercy. That every dimension like Joseph that you would have entered and has been delayed for two years delayed for three years delayed for 25 years delayed for 60 years there are blessings god spoke to your grandparents it's been delayed for decades by the mystery of remembrance i bring you into that inheritance i bring you into that experience I'm praying that between now and the end of October as surely as the Lord lives let there be a sign in your life let there be a sign in your academics a sign in your ministry a sign in your family in the name of Jesus Christ the last prayer for you everything you have lost please believe the prayer whether it is money you have lost relationships you have lost assets you have lost any kind of thing your spiritual life your fire i stand by the god of heaven and i decree and declare on account of the book of remembrance being opened i provoke sudden restoration sudden restoration by the power of the holy ghost sudden restoration listen and i not only pray for you i pray for everyone connected to you connected to you by blood connected to you spiritually let the extension of this mystery of remembrance reach them thank you jesus thank you jesus let me challenge you before i do the altar call please listen i'd like you to use this weekend into next week as god grants you grace please put this that i teach you to work don't just get excited for nothing many of you need to go back to god on behalf of your family do business with god i'd like you to put your destiny in front of you and negotiate your way into dimensions of power dimensions of grace remember oh god sing before him dance before him do it as a couple do it as brothers and sisters do it as fellow church members fellowship members stand before god with understanding and watch the wonder working power 
of the mysteries of the kingdom. Lord, we give you all the praise. Let the name of the Lord be praised. Lord, may we have many testimonies from tonight's encounter. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone stand please if you can. We believe you are mightily blessed. To connect with the ministry and get more from a podcast. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord.